Welcome to the Anime Is God podcast, week two of the fall 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Hello. Next up, we have Brian. I'm back! <laughs> Next oh, up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Hola, buenas noches. All right, Um. so just getting through some um, quick anime news, uh, I guess the only thing we have to talk about is uh, Demon Slayer movie being announced for like theaters in early 2021. We'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I kind of wish they would just do the release, the digital release, like they did from Bane Abyss. But whatever, it's Demon Slayer. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna still see it anyways. So, yep, it's we'll try. I mean, it. yeah, like we'll try. But I'm I'm sure like if anything, if, if things are still aren't open, I would assume it's just gonna I, come to actually. Uh, the only thing I worry about is just being know. sold out because like limited seats. So hopefully. Like, oh, oh god, it's right. Because if we're still social distancing, that's yeah. going to be very, very limited seats. Yeah. So Dude, day one purchase. <laughs> show them our anime Zakaya podcast passes. Get the press the, badge, those, Yes. Yeah. We know people. But guys, <laughs> if I'm in Japan, they always have the craziest marketing schemes. Get an entire Shinkansen. Watch the movie as you go from Tokyo to I don't know what takes two hours. Hour Kyoto. Half. Kyoto. Thank you. Boom, right there. Get to watch the movie while you travel and you're on a train and the lights go out randomly actually, and the Yeah. Actually I lied. Train conductor. It's Nagoya. <laughs> Kyoto's four hours. I lied, my bad. But... Okay, yeah. I thought that was sketch, but I didn't want to call you out. <laughs> you should have called me out, man. <laughs> oh, <bro. clears throat> yeah, and that's like the only I mean it was I guess the only other um housekeeping thing is that um there's still some shows that um because there hasn't aired yet. That we need to have and talk about, and also since we're recording this on a Friday, um, last shows will come out Saturday and Sunday, so we won't be talking about this week. We'll have to wait till uh, next week for that. So just th- always that weird transition between seasons going on. So just bear with it. Um, so we're gonna get started. Actually, um, bring up uh, bring back Brian, Brian here. So I want to hear his thoughts on some of the shows he caught up from summer. So let's start with God of High School, Brian. I want to know oh, dude. your thoughts. Easily the best. <laughs> show of 2020 easy <laughs> all right and why do you all say right, that? cut him off cut him cut off, him off. <laughs> <laughs> we're done what do you mean dude all the all the all the plot you know all the all the all the developments and character <laughs> dude all the all the you know all the badass oh yeah that's complete garbage dude, <laughs> dude I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad we're, we're fucking, i'm so glad we're limiting this to 15 minutes because i just can't wait to cut him off <laughs> like all right you're done Wrap it up, G. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> the plot was utter garbage. Dude. It was so dark. Shit. So, it's all over the wait, place. Okay, I mean, were you still hyped for the fight? Still, did you just like just during that midpoint? Uh, you just like start ignoring the story and just like you know what? So fuck this. I'm just gonna watch for the fights. So how soon did you guys like figure out that this man was Wu Kong? Like, did you guys just find out like literally that? Oh last god! Episode? Like, I think like immediately. I think me and Ku are both like, dude, it's Wu Kong. Yeah, they called it. Um, it was that fight between him and Fox Boy, and then when they the gave hand came down. It. Yep. Yep. Okay, so like episode like nine or ten ish, whatever around there. Yeah. Well, yeah, basically when it manifested. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, like legit me. I literally found out almost instantaneously because like I was just looking up some shit like when I was making like that uh that bracket for the for the uh, Google. <laughs> You're still doing the bracket. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I, I I stopped doing that a long time ago. But when I was, I looked up uh, Jim oh Mori's name on Google. Instantly, full of fucking spoilers. I was like, "Well, shit, wow. dude, I got all the fucking spoilers now." And it's crazy too because you get really subtle hints in the very beginning that this man is a fucking monkey. Like they always talk about him and bananas. Uh, uh, fucking the chick. What is her name? Yui? No. Mira. Mira. Yeah, you, Mira. Like she's always calling him like a, a like an ape and then a monkey or some shit. It's like very subtle hints in there, but you know it is actually true. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah the plot's pretty fucking garbage. Like Dude. episode, like after like episode fucking, I don't know five or six. I was like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is going <laughs> do you think on? It, you, do you, you think got, it would have? What? Go ahead. Do you think it would have been better if they had more time, like to actually like to? Oh, I don't no, think absolutely, milk it. Absolutely not, oh, do you know okay. anything about the the manga? <laughs> did they skip a lot? Like they did entire god? Um, just like from when I was still like on the podcast while this show was going on, I was trying to like look skim through the manga, 
and it already looked like they were skipping like a decent amount of like just plot shit but like overall i highly doubt like giving it like an actual i don't know like five episodes wouldn't have done it any fucking oh really at all. so you think like, I've... so you think the problem was just the original writing then like like it wasn't really like yeah probably like like the like the sort of um the sort of connection my quote-unquote sources gave me was like if you go from og dragon ball to goku as a kid and jump straight into the end of super none of that shit would make any sort of fucking sense at all so it's like you have like just high school students boxing out in a ring to fucking god status almighty wukong <laughs> with its fucking extending pole beating a demon's ass or whatever to like the god himself coming down from the sky with a sword and a troll face or some shit i was like where who are these people and like a <laughs> drunken guy comes out of nowhere and starts beating drums and shit and dancing i'm like who the fuck are these drunk ass people go home like i don't know who you are damn does that make you sad, Brian, like, that you were so hyped at the beginning and they just they just let no, you down? No, like I I knew because the people that are telling me like yeah, uh, got a high school is really good like fights. I was like, dude, it's just gonna be a straight fighting anime and the plot's gonna be ass. I had very low expectations. I just wanted to be hyped just to be hyped for the show. Oh, I was like, you seriously, <laughs> Brian? I thought you were actually legitimately like hyped for everything. Like, <laughs> no, I think we all. I feel beta now. It. Like, I was like, dude, the fight's gonna be fucking, hopefully, super dope, but I already knew, if they focus only on that, plots can be complete and under carbon. The fights were awesome, though. Like, but like, like uh, I said, like, in the podcast, like, in the final episode, like, at that point, I was just having fun with the fight, with when he actually became, like, Wukong, and then uh, was fighting, I thought that was, I thought that was just fun to watch. Yeah, but, like, after, like... It was DBZ at that point. Yeah, after, like, halfway through, it's like, there's no plot, you're just there for the fights, yeah. honestly. Oh, even when like that, what's the, with that one that was it that one guy's uh, dad that kind of just came out of nowhere? Apparently, he was a beast, just saved everybody, and then died. Oh, the grandpa, <laughs> it's you mean like, grandpa? Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, they, yeah. The, uh, Ch- yeah, the other Ch- guy that Jason, uh, whatever. Yeah, one one of Wrong. the six, yeah, Jason, like okay. the magician of the six. Or yeah, he was like it's one something of the six. we know nothing yep. of. Yeah, so basically like, comes in, saves everybody, like just because he's a beast, and then just dies. I'm like, okay. So I like. Dies. I also like how like they sh- like. USA's number one like solution is like just nuke, nuke. The bitch. Yep. <laughs> and problem solved. And then magician dude comes out of nowhere, disintegrates the nuke and recreates like what looks to be like a fucking face missile. I'm like, what? The hell? I'm so confused. <laughs> Logic. The show had plenty of it. It's just so <laughs> all amazing. of it, dude. Like yeah, I remember like I, I rewatched like a short clip of the fucking one of the previous podcasts. I like how Koo is going off about you, Mira's fucking uh Chariuk being um what's his uh, face? Lubu. Lubu? Yeah, Lubu Lubu giving him so much shit, but like she's using a sword. Why the fuck does she have Lubu? Like, exactly. Someone else board. understands. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, bro. I mean, come on, hey, man. man. At least be consistent. They need to give respect to J4, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. J4. Was, oh my god, get out of here with dying. this shit. Oh my goodness. I was dying, dude. <laughs> made zero sense and then you had uh you had what's his face um oh han, han with the, the, wa- the water his charge is like just healing properties i was like dude he, really i was expecting you to be like some sort of like ultimate he god went from, like, he went from like the four the four you know the four guardians of like tiger dragon like crane and phoenix or whatever to the water <laughs> i was like how do you do that how is your charyuk that just healing dude <laughs> He nurse. went from like like the master of like the animal spirits to like a nurse joy, you know, like he was <laughs> the ultimate tank, right? Ultimate like, bruiser, gosh. and then he went to like uh, a a cleric, like that. Like none Can of the, the my characters made made sense, you know. Only only Jin's like Charyuk made sense. Ooh, dear. Yeah. So yeah. yes, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Like the only saving grace of like the like sort of the little plot that I had in the show was just the connection between. Jin Mori and Park, the fucking feet, the 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 Nine Tails guy, mm-hmm. like that little the little subtle thing, like his grandpa like visited him and be like, hey, teach my teach my grandson this stuff. I thought that was kind of cool, kind of cute. Yeah. Right. That. That was about uh, it. Overall, I'd give this show like a. I, what did I give this show? You gave it a seven. I just checked. <laughs> yeah, I gave it like a seven. I was like, I'm just there for the fights, the plots. A seven. I, I think I actually gave it a seven two, but yeah, bitch. I mean, uh, I expect that from Sren, but from 
From Brian? Come on, Brian. <clears throat> I don't That's know. That's exactly what I was going to say, cool. Okay. <laughs> I expected more from Brian. So you're pretty easy on well, shows, though. An like eight out of me? I am. I've actually been getting harder on shows because of this, though. Um, I, I really, it's like actually like you know, kind of like looking at the like the episodes like more than just kind of like enjoying it. Um, kind of just going more, and then also like listening to you guys and then just like discussing it and realizing, oh, maybe the show is more trash than what I thought it was, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, vice versa. It's trash. I mean, it's don't don't oh don't us with your opinions, Sharon. You you do you. It, it, no, it makes <laughs> sense. Man. This makes sense. Sometimes. I can't I believe you guys gave it more than a five, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Yep, I'm with Koo here. Like I, I thought, I thought me and Brian was on the same page because we were like we were ticked off for the same reasons, and this dude gave it a seven. I don't even know. Hey man, a seven for me is pretty dog shit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? So, All right. So like fine. anything it's above an eight is like watchable. If it's anything below an eight, I say like, yeah, don't bother watching. It's like a mess up. <laughs> seven is scale. supposed to be average. Yeah. That's what seven is supposed to be. I average. thought a five is average. A five is failing, sir. Do you not remember <laughs> school? It's five out of ten. <laughs> Unless it's like five out of seven, but I'm not exactly. going to go into that. Exactly. Like this, this show gets a like a good C's get you degrees, man. And this mm. show got people degrees. Five wasn't even a C. What the hell? What <laughs> school did you go to? Degree, <laughs> what degree did this show get? <laughs> what the degree? degree that got people enough hype to fucking actually animate this shit? Dude. Sasha, what were, we, what were you trying to say? I have no idea. Mm. Something about Dark degrees enough. and ratings. <laughs> Just yeah. oh right. my goodness. All right, All right, I think that's where that's a good spot to end. That's <laughs> our official thoughts on God High School. I'm glad we got Brian's the, opinions in there. And the book is officially done. Is it really? Case yeah. closed. I can't. I don't know if I, I can't see really oh, a second season. Brian, season two. You watching it? Wait, there's a season two of God of High School. No, there's really? not. <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying, if there is, are you watching it? Uh, I mean, Probably. I might as well just have a little laugh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and good animation as long as it's uh, was it Mappa? You guys disgust yeah. me. I mean, if it's if it's uh, JC staff, I'll, 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 I'll pass. You don't want to get one punch man. Nah, it's okay. It's too <laughs> depressing. It hurts. All right. It's yeah. definitely JC staff. <laughs> <laughs> it's JC staff's cousin company, JC Penny. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's it for <laughs> cut off high school. And then, um, I just want to hear Brian's thoughts on ReZero since you're all caught up. How do you feel now after? Wait, did you you binge it, right? You don't have to do every week. Yeah, I binged it. God damn. You... Like I, I think I feel like I binged it too fast because I was like, like ha- like part way through some of the episodes, I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? There's like eight witches now. What? Seven, seven deadly sins. It wasn't eight. It was like six or seven. I don't know. Seven deadly sins. Brian, come on. Dude, listen. Man, the seven deadly sins is a Netflix fucking animation. Okay? It's yeah, that's trash. It's called out. <laughs> but yeah like some of the points i was like confused but like some of the big things are like oh shit it was like so is it confirmed that amelia is like a the crazy ass bitch witch it's we not confirmed, no. confirmed. No. confirmed. No. like no. is everyone agreeing that it is though that's what i think yes so like i still go back to the first episode where she first originally gave her name as satella and then ever since after that, she, you know, ba- like, you know, when, uh, you know, when Subaru died and basically gave the name, uh, then, you know, Amelia, it's, mm-hmm. I think that's, you know, for some reason, something happened or changed at that point that either if it's her or she, or it's somebody else, that's her. Um, um, Brian, I, don't know. It's, I just want to ask, like, were you hyped binging this or were you disappointed <laughs> by that last episode? Like, Give you more of the cliffhanger. Hold on, I'm trying to remember what happened on the last episode. Basically, I know that he met with the the Duke guy. He met, he met with Otto, yeah, and then basically got punched for like, um, not relying on his friends, whatever. And then that's how the episode ended. Was that was that a terrible really ending. Ended? That was a terrible ending, yeah. Where like, um, like pretty much like, like how Roswell, oh, yeah, Roswell told him that he I, hired yeah, yeah. Elsa, and then, and then also he, he lost his qualifications for trials, and yeah, so he's just freaking out. Yeah. Yeah, this is, the ending is kind of what. This is a weird spot to end. Like, I feel like this ending is just try. Like, it feels like a sort of place where you would end up to set up for like another episode. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it ending like an entire season. I so like Koo here has very strong thoughts about being disappointed. I you already know. <laughs> I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I because I think it wasn't meant to be ended like this. They probably had issues with production. and They had to like t- take that break for a season. So I'm gonna wait till like 
the full season airs where I give my full thoughts on like whether or not like about this first part's ending. Yeah. So is this so this is the first part of season two? Yes. Yes. That just mm-hmm. ended? Okay. Yeah, Makes yeah. sense. So part I guess two, like I part two comes yeah, out in winter. I guess, yeah, I guess if you look like how the show is like paired up as at least on Crunchyroll, like it's just paired up but it's just in just continuous episodes, so if someone like two years from now just watches it, they can go all the way. Pretty much, so, yeah. Which is weird. I guess for an end of the first half, it's it's fine. But... Um, wait. What are your? I want to. What, what do you think about Subaru in season one, and then what do you think about him now in season two? Redeemed. Uh, season one. This man was just dying all the time. Just bit. Just he was like. Just oh, I mean, a bitch. okay. Yes. And that. Just a bitch, but like season two, uh, like first first half of season two, was like sort of like a little mini redemption, right? And then he went through that first trial, and then he got over whatever shit he was going through in his mind. And then I don't, I don't forget remember which episode it was, like third from last or fourth from last, where like he got the reminder of like the alternate sort of universes where he killed himself, and like the pain that he caused other people to give him like a reality check they're like yo you realize that when you die you may just reset your world but you're like literally fucking other people over like emotionally i'm like dude that's such a that's that's a big fucking just <laughs> that's a big hit to the gut dude i was like damn that's fucking depressing man everybody's over here crying and shit but i feel yeah i, I can agree that he's he's redeemed He's redeemed his from his bitchiness from the first he sh- part. He should have uh, he should have made a pack with Echidna though. He missed out. With who? Echidna. You mean Beatrice? No, he should have made it in a pack oh. with Echidna. No, wait, can you wait, don't I'm terrible at names, dude. Uh, can you describe them to me? Uh, the greed. It's the main witch of greed. The main, the, the main girl yeah. at the tea party. Drinking in the other, her juices. In the other dimension, yes. Echidina or whatever. Echidna? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes! Edina. <laughs> Edina. Uh, wait, didn't he end up taking it? No, he didn't. No, he rejected it. He drank one of them. Yeah. No, he rejected it, yeah. He rejected it. That's probably oh, he that's what he meant, the pack. Yeah, I know. He missed out, man. Did he Free cookies and tea? Free cookies. Yeah, tea. Quote, unquote, tea. Tea, dude. yes. I mean... Sweat. What? That's what? It's, it's her it's body whatever. Food, dude. Yeah. It's for, whatever for those it's degenerates. Fun. <laughs> but no i still think I, I still actually want him to make a pack with beatrice i, I still think it makes sense um yeah. but i would have been i would have been fine with the kid now for some reason like i still like i don't it's it's like really tough to like hate her but also like her at the same time she's just like kind of like in the middle where you can't really tell like how you know how good or evil she is or anything like that but i would still want to uh i would still make that pack i mean you can still like somebody even if they're evil that is true. Yeah, that, yeah. That's true. And I think she really falls into that category. A lot of people love Stain. Exactly. I miss that man. I but... do not care for Stain. Um, oh, oh. Terrible. Jeez. Okay, we don't even bring that in here right now. But um, <laughs> um but, uh... I don't. Know. I was gonna ask for our ratings, but I don't like how like my like well, Strand started this because of this dumb website Miami list like like make yeah, you yeah. Do, they make you do the ratings for yeah, yeah. the broadcasts. Air, even though like i don't really want to rate favorite this part. i don't like i don't want to rate it till like after the full season but if you were oh, I never rating it, yeah. Trent, uh, yeah. brian what would you give it uh this first i half? give it i give it an eight you know Girl. i think i did two huh i think i gave it an eight i can't remember actually what i gave yeah, Ku gave it a seven and then i gave it a nine holy shit i i really love this first part yeah. well, this man gave because it. seven sir is average it's it, it's average okay <laughs> Not, not what you were giving it. I, I do think though the next season will be better because I think it's it's going to progress the story a lot more. I think Subaru is going to be a lot more cautious about you know just dying in general. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get as many resets, and uh, I think we'll actually be going further than a day, which will be nice to see. The one thing I like about this show is its consistency to at least throw in some deaths that are very gruesome, and brutal. Like this oh, man got eaten alive. This man Definitely. got eaten alive by a bunch of fucking rabbits. crazy ass rabbits. <laughs> I was like, yo, that must be one of the worst ways to die. Because one of them like crawled under his skin. I was like, oh my god, dude. 
that fucking sucks. Wait, what? Yeah, if you if you watch like one no, episode not gonna watch it again. I'll probably find a clip where you see a little bump on her. <laughs> yeah, let's do that first. Send it to you. That's fine, man. I mean, we'll, we'll share. We'll share for Sasha to see what he's missing. I mean, I, yeah. Attack yeah. I mean, yeah. I just like because yes. so many people. So when season one aired, so many people were just like, I don't know, like. So there's a lot of people who kept like saying like just you know just suck it up and accept those deaths. I'm like, okay, bro, like you would ever, like you could take any <laughs> yeah, of these like deaths. I, 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 I can never agree with people who said that cough cough shredding, like because like <laughs> dude, the amount of balls to go through with something like that is actually insane. Well, like he's always in pain when he dies, and people just like say, man, just just yeah, that's, tough it that's out. what I'm, I'm like, saying. Like you 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 come back to life, right? But you have to live. You literally have to go through the pain of like dying before. Like this man cut his throat like episode one of the, this season. It's like, dude, that must be brutal, dude. Do you, do you think you'd get used to it? No, no. That, that's what <laughs> it's not sec- like. He's that's it, what the second season not, is about. Okay, shred, shred, shred. <laughs> not everybody. PTSD, is, man. I'm kidding, not, guys. I'm kidding. Not, Jesus, not everybody's God. option of just offering themselves is taking a swan dive off of the halls. <laughs> okay, so it ain't gonna be the same every time, right? That's so, like okay. the the whole thing with Subaru too is that like it's not just like the pain of dying; it's also like just constantly being alone. Like up until you know with Echidna, nobody knew he couldn't tell anybody. He had to figure everything out on his own. So like even though he had people that cared about him, like it's super lonely, especially like if you're a kid. I mean, having to just have all of that on you, I think that's part of his trauma, too. Hey, Echidna, number one waifu. New number one waifu. Yeah, because the girls, Rem's never gonna come back. Yeah, she's, she, she's we, got hope. we got part two. She's okay? not coming it's back right. in part two. That's... You know, fuck you, David. <laughs> <laughs> a, there's no way they're reviving her by part two. We can get shit done see it in part one. I, I believe in the power of love and friendship, all right? So... We'll see. All right. All right. So that's, I think that's pretty much all of the, the show that we need to just catch up for Brian for summer. So um, we're going to move on to Fire Force. And Brian actually didn't catch up with that. So we'll come back with him next week, Brian. We'll yeah. Be, be excited. Next week for sure. I'll be back. Be excited next for season sure. part two of the continuation. You, Fire you Force. better be, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Not Tom. Not Tom. See you in a bit. <laughs> all right. Um. So. I guess like this episode is just basically just a continuation of last week's episode where like we're just, I guess we're starting with a fight, but I kind of felt like the pacing this was really awkward. It kind of reminded me of like the awkward pacing of like season one, where like stuff was happening, but it just it was either didn't really like it didn't really make much was it just wasn't exciting or it just felt like weird to watch. I don't know. I think it's just not exciting because we know like he's not the, like the main guy. I think it, uh, I, for me, I think it's just too, there's too much talking. Like, not it needs to be more show, show and not tell type of thing. Like, yeah, yeah, a, I agree. I also think Babysitter Girl is just a, just a horrible character, and I thought they really canned in the whole. You know, you gotta trust. It's not about machines. It's about trust. You know how we beat you? We trust each other. Yeah, yeah just, that's how we did it. And you're like, oh my gosh, you said that like eight times. Yeah, a lot of talking. Yep. Um. I don't know. I feel like it got really convoluted when they introduced her and then the whole team eight. And then uh, when the KKK clan came through and they started to jump in the mix, it feels like the quality of the fight is just being re- reduced and honestly like diluted because it's too much. Too much is going on and they're not really handling it that well. Like why focus half of the episode? There's, or there's like half? a lot of ways that it's could have been done better. It's just like, yeah, whoever did like the storyboarding or the sneer writing, or I guess like if it was part of the manga, it's like, I think you could have changed with the anime. Like there's lots of different ways you could split this up, make it more exciting to like a three-way fight. Do you know what I love though? I love how they're like, hmm, we've kind of written ourselves in a corner here. What should we do? I know. Let's have Victor punch someone. And he'll be like, I, I always win the nerd fight. And then, you know, Shinra's in the middle of this really intense fight where this guy can surround him with smoke and potentially kill him and stab him out of nowhere. How about Shinra just walks through the door and goes to see Victor? I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> like that, All the tension was just gone from what could potentially happen between them. And then, by the way, his eyes moving all over the place. That was creepy. Oh, that, yes. guy, that, that, that guy, he, he used to get, like, you know how they kill Terminator? 
in Terminator 2 when they just put him down in that like giant lava pit yeah. looking thing. <laughs> just do that to that guy. It doesn't matter if he's a good guy or bad guy in the end. Just But Sasser is for back in that I don't know, not lol, but like man, the shell just cannot be consistent. That's like a shame. Like Yeah, that's the thing, man. When when it peaks, it's so good. But everything else you gotta like grit and bear through it. Yeah, there was a uh... Was it? I don't know. Too many things like the basically like how you said, Sasha, the bunny, uh, not the bunny, uh, the the doll girl character. I kept thinking of the the guy from Naruto. Which guy? Uh, the puppet oh, guy. The puppet master? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, the purple guy. Yeah, I kept thinking of him. Um, it's uh, it was the uh, the the part that I'm actually more excited for is just the um, the the, the that one group arrived and uh, I just can't wait for the hype guy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, Sasha keeps calling him. Keke. I only, the only, I only heard them call him White Clads, but I like Sasha's name better because, like, it's basically the same thing. So, <laughs> dude, the evangelist, the Grand Wizard, you know, that's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. So, no, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's these definitely like these fights almost kind of feel like they don't matter. Uh, but I mean, what this episode like it just felt like it really didn't matter. It was just kind of like really weird. It was cool seeing Vulcan again. Um. And just kind of like that whole kind of uh, kind of ridiculous back and forth. Like I think that was like the only kind of comedy I thought was kind of funny when they basically were just talking about how, like whatever the hell the name they gave for those one things was just terrible. Uh, um, cat pearl. Then, they try to call him cat pearl, and yeah, Vulcan's like, no, right. bro, yeah, call it iron owl. Dude, I actually thought that caterpillar name was like when I see it, now I, I can only see caterpillars now when I see those th- those damn things. You mean caterpillar? Caterpillar, whatever. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I see you guys did not enjoy that. <laughs> it was okay. I mean, I, the humor is not as bad as I thought it would be, but uh, yeah, I feel like they're trying to focus too much on the uh, like the jokes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Especially the problem with this show. Moments are, yeah, especially when they're supposed to be kind of like I guess somewhat tense scenes, um, or they're supposed to be uh, kind of tense. Then, uh, oh God, what was it? There was a. Also, the, the the one guy that I, the thing that I like about like the small guy is basically he's like, oh man, he's like, he's like, all right, the strong guys, I'm gonna let you go, you weak guys. Oh, that part, here. that part was actually like, yeah, <laughs> like sticking to his character is actually pretty funny. How like he went straight for the girls because he's like, you're the weakest one, I'm gonna go for you first. So <laughs> actually, yeah, I did like I wonder, that part too. So I wonder if he's actually gonna fight the hype man uh, next episode, or if he's just gonna like just walk away and be like, ah, I'm gonna just find another job, I'm gonna retire, dude. Our boy Nantucket, he's gonna go off or something. Oh, by the way, the return of the fifth pillar. Oh gosh. Yeah, her. Yeah, I can't stand it. Like it's just yeah. everything about her. I it's I like... want her to die in a horrible train accident. Ever since she burned her boy <laughs> to death. Yeah. <laughs> just... Yeah, it's I, I legit like hopefully like, but I'm guessing that like the pillars probably aren't gonna die till like the end of this. Like this, it's just the show in general. I mean, since that's the plan. If you think about it as like a shonen trope, it's like you gotta get all eight pillars gather up and then com- combine their powers, do whatever. Summon the, and then the, kill bit, them the, bit, the big what god thing you're trying to summon. Yeah. yeah. Do we know we like a... What's up? Get the mole back. We gotta, we gotta oh, get god. him back in action. He yeah. ends up being one of the pillars. You yeah. yeah, uh, finally uh, used for something. They just burn <laughs> his body and then cook him on a grill. Oh my god. god. Dude, so He's do we just... know like what? Like let's let's say like they kill off a pillar. Do we know like if another person will be chosen? Do we know if Maybe, that's a thing? Yeah. Yet? Like, I hope I hope they kill it. Like, you them. only have eight pillars, and like it seems, I don't know. I'm... I don't know. If it feels like do or die for them, honestly. Right here, you think? And I mean, like the eight pillar system. I don't oh, know if there gotcha. were like previous pillars, or are there eight pillars per Amaterasu's? But oh, true. I I think it would I'm... ruin it if they're just like we can replace them. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, it... I I feel like it's like it's it sounds like you guys just gotta have at least eight. I don't know. There's like only eight. I don't know. They didn't make it clear, but maybe there's extras <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. They didn't really make Dude, it clear. The thing, I, the thing I really hate though is that they um is like they where they they, they keep showing like the um the uh, evangelists where it's, they basically appear. You know, something's gonna happen and they're gonna run away. I feel like that. Like at this point, somebody has to die on like one of the sides because it's just like I'm so tired of like seeing like everybody kind of go like there's a fight and everybody just kind of like goes out like goes on their own path. Like they take like the, they they take the pillar. I definitely think this kid's gonna go with the other team though. I think they're gonna take him because like this kid's fucking psychotic and nuts. I can't see him. Uh, I can't see him working out with the with the with Shindra's team. 
But I could mm -hmm. be wrong. Who knows? Um, I think well, to bounce it out, out, yeah, I think to bounce it out, he would have to go to Shimmer's team. So that will be three, three v three. They could balance it, but I mean, does he fit the team though? You know, does does anyone really fit the team? I mean, come on, it's it's a bunch of ragtag people like just put in one squad, and that's it's it's working so far. So, yeah, uh, I don't. I don't it's think he would man. be that much. I don't think he would be that much of a uh, like, like different person. Like I, I think his chemistry would work well if they yeah. uh, ever develop him, especially since he has that one guy that's constantly screaming in the background. I mean, like he kind of fits like the the craziness of the group in a sense, you know. Yeah, I was about to say because he is um, a member of the fire force, or that guy was before they you know killed him. Um, I right. feel like he'd have more an affinity towards them and want to join them and trust them. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that guy that pops up in his conscious is... <laughs> that's fucking nuts. <laughs> Dude, that's you, Shred. I feel like that's you inside your head, but you just can't let that guy out. Like, I can't let this guy out, guys. It's like, nope, nope. Keep him down. Yeah. Keep him down. <laughs> Seem normal. Just wave and, wave and smile. But yeah, he doesn't seem like the psychotic fifth person who, you know, murders her own friends or accomplices, whatever they were to her. He just seems like, like a genuinely nice kid who wants to hang out, but he got a giant fire ant shoved in his chest, and now he's dying slowly <laughs> of cancer. But, mm -hmm. yep, what are you going to do? Ugh. I do think next episode is going to be pretty hyped, though. I think it'll be awesome. Because that's, that's going to be like the main fight, right? The rule of three, man. Three good episodes, three bad episodes. Three good where, episodes. Where are we on right now? Is this the... This is the first bad one. First, yeah, because okay. last two were pretty good, and then like this one just... Yeah. Uh, I think th I think this one's okay. It's okay. It's, I mean, dude, okay. when it goes okay, it goes bad. <laughs> right, oh, right. Heard but... of China, it'll be okay. And then they so, need a crow yeah. and a mole with scars. <laughs> no. So man. by rule, the next one is bad. Then it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like that guy from The Dark Knight, the one Asian guy that they get. I'm a good with the calculations, right? Like that's I'm telling you guys, there's a formula to this. <laughs> oh. I don't think I have any more. I don't think I have anything else. Yeah, it was all right. It's passable. It was enjoyable. But I think, you know, like I said, you've got Benny Maru, you've got Joker, an eye patch guy. That's by far the more interesting story because we've seen these guys fight. We've seen all they can do. And who cares about the KKK? It's like Shredden said. They show up, they walk away. When, when are we going to see some casualties there? When's something going to happen? Yep. You got Avatar Girl who could shoot bow and arrows all day, but for some reason she didn't. It, I don't know. Yeah, it's a. God, what was it? It was um. Oh shit, I, I can't remember now what I was gonna say. It's. Uh oh, uh, the the part with leaked, uh, like leaked, but you know, besides like you know when he just kind of like hit the button, you know, then Shinra was able to get out. All that stuff broke away. I actually did the kind of like the the like the more thing where it basically like I think he kind of just decided like he's gonna just you know be with teammate, and uh, I mean I'm sure like in a sense there's gonna be like you know work between him and like teammate and Joker. I think they kind of just kind of uh, hinted that more toward, just towards like if you know if, if Licht if Leech goes more on their side of the team, I think and then it just would bring in Joker. So I I like the concept of him siding with them because he's like, hey, I like the way these guys look out for their friends. I haven't experienced that in my life. I'm I'm a truth seeker. I'm here honestly to benefit myself. But since these guys are willing to work with me, I might as well you know just they're rubbing off on me. It's cool. But just the way it went logically. Just seems so canny, like the way he's like, "I'm gonna punch this nerd guy." Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that, that whole part. And then yeah. Shinra's gonna just walk out of that fight and be like, "Hey man, let's let's go somewhere else." Like, yeah. none of that made any <laughs> sense to me. But you know, like I said, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was a, that was kind of a brutal a brutal moment. But you know, there's there's been a lot of good moments with him too. I mean, so yep. I I will always say for like this show in general, like I wish there was more focus on like people turning into infernals. Like, it's just like that's what really got me interested in the show in the first place like i want more of like the psychological effects of like people being afraid that they can get set on fire and we just don't get any of that anymore it's just it's just the shonen fights so well, i think it's more just trying to figure it out now at this point though because there because that was a lot of like the like the first season yeah that's like why i miss the most so i'm still enjoying like the fights in general but like and understanding like the like more about like the cult and like the connections between the cult and like the holy soul temple and just like in their connection and controlling like the empire in general but like yeah the plot well, the plot in general i think is actually moving and it's moving a lot better than it has been yeah i'm just saying that like, that's, like, that's what i miss about the most about this show is that um yeah is like i wish there was more focus on like 
how like normal people feel about like being afraid of turning into infernals. Right. Yeah, I can see that. So that's just my. That'll uh, always be my thoughts, I guess, for the show. Gotcha. Well, I don't believe I have anything else. All right. Yeah. So. So pretty okay Anybody week. Uh, yeah. Mm-mm. Pretty okay week oh, for Gucci. Fire Force. Yeah. So hopefully next. Hopefully it breaks the curse and we'll get we'll pick it back up next week for better fight. Hopefully better choreographed and handling so we don't get the awkward. Spoiler pacing. alert! It won't. Damn. <laughs> well, rip, okay. next, rip next week. Yep, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, so yeah. that's that's it for Fire Force for this week, and then we're gonna move on next to Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, uh, someone else want to start? Why? Um, get the setup real quick. Someone want to go over what happened this episode? Brian, Jujutsu Kaisen thoughts on so far? Dude, I love this show. I think it's pretty solid. Like, I was very first episode. I was so shocked to see the animation come from Mappa look like that. I'm like, dude, this actually looks like a normal animation. <laughs> Wait, why are you surprised? You, just, you thought they weren't gonna be able to do it, or no? Because I just wasn't used to it. Because yeah. coming from uh, God of High School and Tower of God, I was expecting something like uh, Mappa different. didn't do Tower of God. That was a different studio. Oh, really? Yep. I thought it was Mappa. That was a different studio. Wait, what, what Tower of God, which one? Tower of God, yeah. Mappa oh, was, no Mappa was got a high God. school. Yeah, there's no way in hell, dude. Tower of God looked like trash. <laughs> what the, who the I thought it's a studio. I don't know. It's like some but, random some random um, studio did yeah, Tower of God. Yeah, I don't know. I just it just looked it just looked good. Did you also know oh, that dude, it's like... a it's a shonen jump series? Really? Yes. I don't know, dude. They, like, uh, Shonen Jump is getting like it has like more of these like edgy dark shows, darker I mean, shows. Yeah, well, I mean, getting there, like, yeah, Promise Neverland, Demon Slayer. It's been there for got, a while, yeah. We got Jitsu Kaisen now. Yeah, dude. The MC though, dude, I, I love the MC. <laughs> He's uh, like, uh, I don't know, it's just like his personality, persona, everything else. Oh, like with uh, I was gonna, sorry, I was gonna say too. Um, the, the what the guy he eats, like the demon, he's voiced like Archer, isn't he? Yes. Okay, that's all I wanted <laughs> or, to make sure. Or if Taylor puts it as Yuri. Yuri, yes. I'll, yeah. he'll always... No, 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 sorry, that's the other guy. That's the other guy. That's the blind guy. Oh, well, the even yeah. guy will always be Archer. So, that, yeah. I know, right? That's basically <laughs> immediately always Archer. It goes in my head first. Uh, dude, where the hell? Okay, so where's this panda? Like, <laughs> do it. Panda in the opening, legit, got yeah, me so hyped for the show. Yeah, wait. <laughs> You have no idea, okay? I swear to God, man, this better not be like they show it like the last episode. And it's like end, dude. And then it's we even, just never it's see even it again. in the it's in the even in the ending credits in episode two. You see the panda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't wait for the panda. Did you not notice the panda, dude? I noticed the panda immediately. What? Even in the op? Uh, yeah. That's when I first saw it because I remember like when we you first kind of go like, through the beginning. Oh, thing, you're asking you the where's open. the panda? Yeah. Is when it are we the, seeing oh, the actual, panda? The actual episode. Yeah. Yeah. I want uh, to see the panda. I was confused. I was like, "What do you mean? It's right there, dude." <laughs> no, I don't. I want to just. I wanted to see it. One time, man. One or eventually. Uh, uh, what are your guys' thoughts on like actually like, the story moving? Like, just like where they're kind of going from here. I felt like didn't not much happen this episode. Just just slower just than more episode, drop. Just slower than episode one. Yeah. Taylor, what were you saying? I was just backing up what David said. It's just setting things up. Dude, Lord John, yeah. man. Now we actually know like the the MC's like what what he's gonna do or what his purpose, I guess, in a sense. Well, I mean, uh, I knew that when his grandpa died. So, okay. Does anybody else think it's weird that the only thing like they basically took of this thing is just fingers? Like, there's nothing else. Like, I mean, why is it just fingers? Actually, now that you mention it, because <laughs> was because they only took his fingers, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they sealed his fingers, dude. Because the fingers is where the power comes from, dude. Do we know this, or are you just making shit up? No, it's totally legit. <laughs> so, the source is full of I mean, I feel like you really, bring shit up. Does it really matter what it's a finger or not? Like, it's just, it's a cursed item, so. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I don't know. Maybe he's uh, maybe he's pulling a Voldemort, and instead of having seven, he's got twenty. Um, and that's where the power stems from. Twenty. Well, I remember the. I was just thinking these are like Horcruxes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the picture they showed of like the, the of the of the curse are we just gonna call him a curse or demon? 
they're, they're curses. 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 Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, like when they showed him like of his curse, like he had four arms. Right. Yeah, that's what they say. That's yeah, why he has twenty fingers. Four arms. Okay. Yeah. That's why. That's why he has twenty fingers. fingers. Yeah. Hey, what about the toes, man? You know what? Fuck the toes, man. I why mean, do, like... Trend, does it doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, I'm just basically just being hard on it. Yeah. I mean, if 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 anything, if, if it's from Shonen Jump, it might be like a long lasting series, and then maybe after they do twenty fingers, maybe they'll go towards the toes, toes and then they'll go towards yeah. like or limbs or the then... pinwa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um. um it's, uh. How was it? It was um. They they have also have to make it like they should make it seem more difficult to actually eat those fingers. There's no way in hell you can just basically look at that shit and just be like, I can swallow this easy. Like he was especially with the fingernail first. I like Who the hell does that? I, <laughs> he uh, does because he's a badass, yeah. dude. No, <sighs> he did it both times too. Because he's a badass. Yeah, <laughs> it is it is weird that like the second time he did. I guess I guess maybe he would have had more resistance resistance, but I felt it, it feels like if you eat more, it's like it's like more poison, so you should struggle more than. The more you eat, I don't know. That's what I think. David, did you get a uh, parasite vibes when he just started speaking through his face? <laughs> no, but now that you said that, now I do. <laughs> oh god, dude! I, okay, I didn't even watch Parasite, and I immediately thought like Parasite vibes right when his like his the guy's I mouth was talking in his arm. Too distracted by his voice being Archer. All right, being Archer. Gotcha. Oh, there you go, man. Now you can think of Parasite. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Sasha, if you thought about that at all, or any kind of, or kind of got like any of those vibes. From uh, this episode. I watch this one. What's up? Oh, it's alright. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Wait, pay attention, Stren. Yeah, no, I, for- <laughs> I completely forgot. Yeah. Um, so. I was wondering why he's so quiet. Um, <laughs> let's see. What what else was there? Nothing, there was really yeah, nothing much. Nothing too much. Um, besides, like you join like the school, with there's like th- what three people or three, there's uh, three, three freshmen. First years? Yeah, first yeah. years. It's. I mean, there might be more, but but apparently they're finding that Naruto out. They had the teacher Hell, and the three yeah, the three person yes. squad. So. Yes, we got it, guys. We got it. It only took two episodes for us to figure it out. <laughs> Another team. You already seven. know. Oh, you already know. I'm the, I, I love the back and forth between the MC as well and that other guy, where the guy's just always making him like, it's just always giving him shit. It's like, oh man, yeah, I see you're doing better. And he's I, just like, oh, I see you're not getting your SP today. I will you say know. that um, the fight scene between like the teacher and like the main guy slash Steven is pretty cool for a little bit we just saw. So hopefully that's like a sneak preview of. What Mappa can show yeah. us for later fights. Yeah, anime, man. I'm excited. So, because because they're also doing like this other show, like the the gymnastics one. So, they're busy with that, and then they got to Attack on Titan final season as well. So, gymnastics. I'll leave that to Kuhn Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter. Wait, Kuz and gymnastics? I nah, I'm, I just threw Kuz's name in because I know he was he's watching some uh, sports stuff. Hey, man! Like, if if it's good, it's good. You know, like can't knock it. Right? That's fair. That's fair. I mean, uh, yeah. So, no, I don't know, but I'm I'm still excited about this, and it's also it's done by Mappa, but it's not just you know just just for the nice animation, but it's also you know the the the, the story itself doesn't seem so bad like, yet. It still feels like Shonen Jump, but I I'm I'm still I, I don't know I'm still excited to see what happens next. Like, so I'll keep watching, and I'm again waiting for fight scenes, like. Because story seems typical, but I like why I see. Bro, but... you're you're telling me that ten seconds was a, was not enough for you between fucking white haired teacher <laughs> and the demon? Are you serious, dude? You, just a on. taste, man. It was just a tease. Yeah, just it was like a, ten, the scene. ten seconds of but fighting. It didn't, it didn't tell me. I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the story, like the whole story setup. Like, oh, uh, okay. Like I'm excited for the fight yeah. scene for sure. Yeah. So. It's okay, guys. It was just a tip. <laughs> just a tip. Yeah. Friends got to swallow that finger for sure. <laughs> Dude, okay, I like how in episode two, like the the teacher, he like he demonstrates like, yeah, we can't destroy these fingers, but you can eat it. Yeah, I, 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 I was like, whoa, wait, wait, what? Like it just <laughs> digest in the stomach or what? It was so. Well, we, I mean, I'm more interested just to see like what the MC's background is or like backstory is because there you can't just be that strong, right? There's yeah. there's got to be something else with they, you. They, they suddenly Hopefully. explain why he's like at, like wait, superhuman basically. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, so episode two come out. <laughs> My prediction is he has the traces of uh, one of the thousand year old ancestors that like withheld like as, oh, a, yeah. as, a, as a vessel, Ooh, like a thousand a year vessel. Yeah. Like he has traces of that ancestor within probably, him. So that's yeah. why that's what, probably why he's like the reincarnation of Merkel Crocop. So. Well, 
<laughs> and why he's in love with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Jennifer <laughs> Lawrence. So dude. Oh my god. Oh, no. god. Like, I thought I thought it was just gonna be like like a like a quick reference, right? And, and then he showed the, the thing up poster. The poster. <laughs> I was like, yes. That's oh. so good. Best MC dude, ever. This guy is uh Oh, this guy's just too good. Clearly a man of culture. Yes. Clearly. <laughs> I thought oh I'd never see a Jennifer like, Lawrence reference in the anime dude, ever. I like how the first thing he brings up to like basically who's supposed to be like the principal of the school, he decides to lead with that. Like you know when this is gonna be a good MC. Ah, uh, dude, he had me in episode one, but this this just sealed the deal, bro. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so good. I've yet to find like a like a fault with this guy, like something that annoys me about him. But like so far, everything about his character, I, I think his like the whole package, it, it's it's great. Like I think he's going to be a great MC. Oh, he yeah. could be he's MC right of the year, but yeah, this guy's fucking I hilarious. Don't I don't know, man. But... We have rent a girlfriend, dude. He's gonna be uh, he's right up there. The you know, if I could cut you off, friend, I would. But unfortunately, I don't have that power. Uh, oh, you're a mod, so... Oh, actually, he's friends of admin in Discord, so he has <laughs> higher privilege. Never mind. <laughs> Rip. But, yeah, I mean, like, like, if you really think about it, like, this year, like, who... I don't know, maybe I'm just being real biased, but this... I feel like this guy really stands out as an MC. Yeah, I, I like him yeah. in general. Like, he's definitely not annoying, like, other, like... Even like other Shonen Jump like character like main characters are just not as annoying, mm -hmm. but yeah. So I mean, hopefully they continue to develop him in a way that you know shows his free spirit, but you know has him being like not just someone that's redundant, right? He's he's really useful. He has a goal. He's headstrong. I mean, I, I really don't find a I can't find a fault with this guy. Yeah. Although I admit the 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 third person of the group, um, I'm not liking the vibes I'm getting from her. So. Uh, Oh, one only see her for like two seconds. Yeah, yeah. That's true, cool. It's okay, man. Just give her some time. No, man. She's it's this girl that's trying to be an idol. She doesn't want to do anything. She sounds like wait. What? Uh, what when she ever said she wanted to be an idol? Yeah. What are you? Talking or or about? like like she was, she was hoping to be picked up by one of the. Uh, oh, so that's, I forget that's, what. That's, uh, that's, I think that was being a model or something, not an idol. Or or yeah, or something like that. Yeah. But I didn't catch yeah. her at all. <laughs> I thought she wanted to just be picked up by the school. That's what no? I thought too. No, she said yeah. something about Stardust. I think it's like an like a modeling. It sounds like an agency, like like either right. model or like talent or like entertainment, because like yeah, and then you know, I, she's she's I like a country girl reason... and she wants to go to exciting Tokyo, even though they're like the the countryside of Tokyo. Yeah, she's going to the countryside of Tokyo, so I don't think she really did her homework. I think she just heard the word Tokyo and she was like, "All right, fuck it, I'm going." Well, I mean, you know? you, you would uh, too think no. you wouldn't think you'd be like in like the mountains of Tokyo. So you, would, I you, mean, you get baited too. I would go. Yeah, <laughs> I would go regardless, and I wouldn't even be. Uh, I wouldn't even be sad about it. I mean, I guess we, we don't really know her powers. We don't really know much about her. Yeah, it was only like ten seconds, but no. I'm just not liking the vibes I get from her. The only thing so. is, like, I hope, Man. I hope, like, the other characters, like the other two characters, aren't weak compared to the main character. Panda. I hope he's like the not the one that's to carry the show. So hopefully for a strong cast overall. The so panda. We'll see. I hope the panda disappoints all of you. We will you. see. We got, I... we, got, we got 24 episodes, so we got plenty of time to like flesh out these characters. I'm going right, to right. so, be so disappointed if that panda is evil and they have to kill him like off in one episode. Jeez. <laughs> wow, I didn't, I didn't go that far, but okay. I mean, if, if he's a curse, you know, I'm just seeing that's where it's going to go. But I forgot to time this, so I have no idea how long we've been going. <laughs> I think, I think uh, that's plenty of I think we're good. Plenty enough, yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen. Wait, real quick, shout out. I do enjoy the OP and the ending credits. Same. Really? Well. Love that's the fine. credits is very groovy, so I like it. <laughs> oh god, yes. yeah. Like, what do you mean? Oh god, you disagree? Fight? No, what I'm what I'm thinking. I, I actually got like Persona Five vibes when I heard it. I'm like, this this would definitely be in Persona Five. Mm. It sounded really jazzy and then hip hoppy. It's not. That's not. I, like I don't it. know. I didn't think Persona Five, but okay. I mean, it's better than God of High School. It's okay. So I got you to think oh. one show. Hey, got, any yeah, of God of High School was good. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, but, yeah. But I got to think, have you think of one anime, David, at least for uh, with uh, Parasite. One out of two. Wait, what? Yes. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Just I, don't know, I don't know what you're saying, Shren. So <laughs> we're going to move on next to... So yeah, that's it for Jujutsu Kaisen. And then we're going to move on next to Haikyuu. And I didn't watch the sixth episode. So again, I didn't even say much for last week. So you guys have to carry this. Just someone else will host this part. All right, cool. All right. So, you first say how you enjoyed it, and we'll trash it. Go ahead. 
Yeah, so if they should have just made this like episode one. I, I don't think you need to recap. I don't know why they wasted so much airtime with the last episode. But with this episode, they're starting to pick up more action. It's starting to get more tense. Like Hinata starting to show his growth. Um, and I thought it was really cool how they just introduced all the like the different, uh, I guess, like plans or like the different uh, tactics that they can use in, in a volleyball game, you know. You got you got Hinata doing different things. He's not just a decoy anymore. He's not just a guy that's going out to like do these quick attacks. You know, he's got him marked and marking one guy. Uh, he's got him thinking about like different plays. Like, man, like if I was the the spiker, like who's the most annoying guy that I never want to go up against? And then you know he picked the guy that that scared him the most, and he was able to like uh, like showcase that that kind of presence that that one guy had. I think it was from uh, what school is he from? Um, Oikawa. 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 Yeah. Ajobu, yeah. Something Ajobu Sai or whatever. Right. I don't remember who the guy was, but yeah. And then they're they're, they're just showcasing not just Hinata, but they're showing um like how everyone else is like playing calm and collected, and they're picking up as a team. And I think they ended it at at a, uh, a stalemate, a twenty one twenty one. So it can go either way. So I I think that it's starting to pick up really well. The the action is starting to pick up as well. So mm. they should have just made this like episode one. But I don't oh. see why you guys didn't like it. For the most part, I do agree with you. For the most part, I enjoyed this one. Like, I don't even remember what happened last week, to be honest. Like, I could barely get through it. Mm-hmm. So, no matter what, this one was definitely better. I feel like it had just, like, better interactions between the characters, too. Mm-hmm. Like, it just felt really stale and forced, like, through the entire first part of the season. And then, like, last week's episode. At mm-hmm. least to me. Um, and I think that really picked up and helped. But I gotta say, like... <laughs> Like that play where it's called like the like the blend in one or whatever that they had near the end of this episode. That used uh-huh. to be one of my favorite animations that they had. I loved it every time. It always felt so epic, and they literally cut the whole damn thing. Like, oh no, no. See, you have to look past the animation. I thought, oh. I thought we talked about it. I thought we talked about it last uh, last week where we where we said we, we were expecting the animation to be trash. But it's so it hurts so bad. It hurts. Yeah, no, so I bad. get it. I, I I totally get it. Like with whenever they showcase like uh, Sugishima, like his character design is just weird. Well, look it's at so Hinata. Weird looking Hinata has the most dope ass look on his face all the Not time. The good dope. He looks perpetually yeah. stupid. No, although there there was there was that one instance where they showed like his face, like it was just what two dots and, and like a smirk when um one of the twins says, "Yeah, I'm not scared of you as a blocker." And yeah. he had that that face of disappointment. I thought that was pretty funny, but yeah, other than that, everything was was, was pretty bad. So. Oh yeah, the, like the joke faces look fine, but like yeah. the serious faces are just like it just with this animation, it just looks terrible. But yeah. I, I mean, like I definitely like I don't care about it at all about the match anymore, just because like the animation it just can't keep me in it. But like the character, but basically like, the character is like back and forth stuff. Like I still think it's just is spot on. I mean, it's it's high uh like you know like comedy or or character writing, whatever you want to call it. Like when uh when um. Hinata is sitting there trying to like, gloat about like basically one of his points, mm-hmm. and then, and then uh, Kage- Kageyama just walks away. And then, like, <laughs> while, like, while he's talking, I'm thinking yes, yes. Like I, just like those things, I think are just still. Fu- I think they're just like dead on. They're fucking hilarious. But like anytime that they try to do like those an- like the animation modes, like like the whole thing, like where uh, Taylor pointed out the the part where they they just basically do the whole thing where everybody charges the front of the net, like the net. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, season one, two, three, whatever, like all those, like it looked so good and fluid. This, it just looks so fucking choppy and depressing. Right. And then, like, like yeah. how Taylor says, like they cut after that running, that running motion, they cut everything else out. <laughs> like there's nothing, there's nothing left besides like the ball flying over the net. And then that's all. I don't even know if we saw who hit the ball. Did we? Uh, it was actually, well, yeah. like, it was towards the end, but you didn't see like his running animation. You didn't no. see him hit it. It was yeah, just okay. like the after effect. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, no, like like I said, I totally get it. Animation is just like out the window. But like the tension, the chemistry that they have, you know, like the the dialogue that they have. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, yeah. it's 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 starting to come back. So that that's what's carrying it for me. But it's going back to the original part, like where I, I first liked Haiku because of like all like the characters, and I just didn't care about the volleyball. But my God, do I miss <laughs> that volleyball now? Like I wish I would have never said those words <laughs> the first season. Oh, if you, I would have known I was gonna get this oh, shit. Friend, I think you jinxed it, man. I did. I swear. Dude. I think you jinxed oh, it, dude. God. Like, Brian, I'm so sorry I got you into this show. <laughs> just just, no, just dude, I don't, it okay, you. so like you guys are shitting on the show pretty hard now, huh? No, just 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 uh, the animation. Oh just the animation. Yeah, animation. Like goddamn. Like story um, and characters are still solid. <laughs> because like 
at this point, me personally, I'm very used to how the animation is now because the first half of this season was all like that. So I'm already adjusted to it, so I don't really mm-hmm. mind. I still heard. So like so the, the net and the face thing is like whatever. All the other animation stuff was whatever. Like Ku made some really solid fucking points though. This episode, oh my, magnificent fucking episode for Hinata. Like it shows his growth as a volleyball player so fucking much because I think I think it was the coach of the other school that pointed out like he's not angry that people are copying his stuff but he should realize that you're not going to have this setter for your entire volleyball career so he should be able to see that as an opportunity like other people can do this too so this isn't that special so i need to improve myself even further so it's like right. oh my god it was so fucking good it was so good and then the blocking thing too i was like oh my <laughs> god it was so fucking good i was like who's the most annoying blocker i had he chooses that guy and he <laughs> forces the play on the enemy player it's like dude when you can when you can do something to force an enemy player to do something that you want them to do best feeling in the fucking world dude Exactly. Like, he's, this he's man pretty... Hinata, this man might be like four foot, five foot four, whatever, however the fuck tall he is, like like 150 <laughs> centimeters, whatever it is, right? Like this dude's doing all this crazy ass shit at his height, and it's like, dude, this guy's a fucking prodigy at his height, dude. And also, like, this man's like one v one and losing the one v one block. It's like, dude, I'm pretty shit. I need to step my shit up, dude. I was like, oh. This is such a Hinata episode, and it's crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it it was actually pretty cool to see like like Hinata actually get like uh um excited about defense instead of just offense, and then just like wanting the ball. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also the, where he finally he's like, oh man, he's like, I'm finally in the back line immediately, bitch. <laughs> not, not bad. <laughs> like, like yo, bro, you're, you're not <laughs> serving. You know that, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah I mean, if national, guy... we can't have you serving and wasting points, sir. We're gonna have to eh, kick you out for another. Random, or not a random guy, but uh, you know. Yeah, do I? I'm just hoping that like, like they they have Hinata pick up like a jump serve by the end of the season because he's slowly developing all mm-hmm. of the other abilities. That I think that's the only thing that he's lacking right now, just a really good serve, right? Uh, oh, I think it's also setting like set like in basically setting up like setting up points too. He's terrible at that as well. I mean, he's he's getting kind of towards off. it, but yeah. then I think that comes with like developing your defense. Uh, yeah, like sense. So yeah. I think it's fine. But you know, for for like the ultimate glass cannon, like you need to have a good serve too, right? <laughs> yeah, they they kind of hinted too, like uh, you know when Hinata like hit the ball up, he's like, oh man, he's like, I it actually wasn't that bad. And then Kageyama was like, dude, that was lucky as fuck. You know this, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just immediately called out. But, but, but yeah, I'm lo- oh, sorry, uh, dude, just real quick. I, like, okay. like when Hinata went off to, to block the like to block the shot though, I kept I just kept thinking back to season three when 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 Skishima. Had basically that epic ass block. I kept thinking, damn, we could have had some sort of animation like that for that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I heard, I heard a little bit more. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Like, if 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 only they would like just just bump up the the animation quality. Like, I think this would have been perfect. perfect. Oh yeah, it would have been awesome. No, it still have been just top tier. But I'm I'm still hyped with, with what they're showcasing so far. Like, I'm super hyped for the rest of the match. So I, I don't care for cool. the match, but I love these characters. So. Other teams I, I, I can't a little bit more this time, so I care about the match. <laughs> is is it because they're twins? You got to think for twins. Um, <laughs> no, I just felt like they were a little bit more like their. I don't know. Their personalities are a little bit more built up than it was for anybody last season. Like when oh, they were in yeah. the training camps and stuff, I just didn't really feel like I got an understanding of any of them at all, and it's finally oh, yeah. coming through a bit. So it was a speed run. Yeah, yeah. We got a little bit more about the character, like the twins, this episode. They're mm-hmm. they're they seem pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Pretty good. Although I I, I gotta admit too though, like I don't know why they gotta like put that that one guy. I think his name was Ojiro, like the the black guy. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the animation that that he did when he was serving, like he was he was basically like crouched over. He had like super long arms, and he was oh, like oh yeah, I saw that bouncing the ball too. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, what the hell kind of animation is this, dude? Like he was such a badass, and they just put him in this awkward position and. I I I can't even. They, I think they, they did them so dirty this this episode. Yeah, the char- just the characters in this animation for some reason they like a lot of them just look lanky, skinny. Like they don't look like yeah built like they were in the first three seasons. Like he no. tell, like he was short, but he was like he looked like he was like he had like that slight build to him. This right. he just looks tiny and just skinny and 
animation where I actually have seen a lot of people talking about it online. And a lot of people, even people that don't like the new animation, did like the character changes because they look a lot more like in the manga. Which for faces and stuff, I know people have had a tough time. But like for bodies, I think it kind of makes sense since it's a sports anime to follow with like the manga. (laughs) Oh, they they look like twigs. You could easily. (laughs) Exactly. That that doesn't make sense. You know, like I feel like Hinata looks bigger. Oh, hell no. There's no way. Might be his linky arms. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I, think, I, I disagree y'all. with y'all. But I, think I, mean, it, he, I think it's just because Hinata's, for some reason, they made his hair look way bigger than his body now. Like, it doesn't match with his... Like, it doesn't, like his hair doesn't match with his body. Man, hmm. you guys are really going at the animation, huh? Dude, I like, I you, honest, like, personally, I, I honestly you. paid no mind to any of this. I wasn't I was like, really paying attention either. Possible. Yeah, it's just these think, guys. Uh, they're I, obsessed. Sir, to be honest with you, I didn't either, but certain kind of ruined me. Certain's a ruined area here. Like, um, I, I, I can understand, right? Like, I can understand from, first, like, let's go, for example, like, first half of this, this show in general. Mm-hmm. First half of this show, amazing animation, just top of the line, everything. And then th- it starts this, I can understand that. But, like, continuously, dude, come on, man. It's over. Get over it, friend. <laughs> the, the bar was set so high, man. It's sort of, because, like, normally, because before this, like, I wasn't into, like, any kind of, like, sports, like, any kind of sports anime. I, I, I'm pretty sure we've been over that before. But then, like, Haikyuu kind of, like, made me change it. And I thought, like, damn. It, like, it was, like, holy shit. It was so yeah. good. And then it got me, up like, so hyped up. And actually, like, when it was, like, one of my, like, one of the shows I was so, like, actually, like, excited to watch. And then this happened. See, again, again like, and I'm upset of Stray. where it's, like, I just want to watch the volleyball. I don't need to see the characters. <laughs> I love the characters. Stuff, so. Fuck the volleyball. I'm here for the I volleyball. Watch I mean, I I, watch that court. part, David, I could disagree. I enjoy the characters. <laughs> Give me the volleyball, the characters, all that jazz, the animation. But... Like, one thing that's, like, really hitting hard for me is, like, so this, I think this half of the season is, like, the sort of 10-episode Shiro Torizawa, like, like, battle. Oh, yeah. Like, dude, I'm comparing to that, and it's, like, two episodes in, it's, like, y'all need to step this up if you guys want to be on that level, dude. Like, (laughs) that, that, that battle, that fight, oh, best 10 episodes of a fucking sports anime i will almost ever watch in my entire life dude, dude there's no way like if let's say like this animation studio was in charge it was in charge of like shio torizawa let's just say if somehow that happened there's no way they would have been able to pull off like the animation did because they made that guy seem so like fucking undestructible like just with that animation they basically just made his like they made his his like uh his shots look like legit gunshots like how those things were going off Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and the, just I don't know, dude, like just the impact of his strength and just like uh, just uh, just overwhelming, or is his overwhelmingness. It was just like there's no way they would have been able to pull it off this season. Yeah, I I mean I I, I can understand right now they're fighting in nationals, right? Yes. But it just doesn't feel like the feel enemy like team doesn't feel like they're matching up to like a Shira Torizawa like vibe, you know? Right. You have right. this monster of a player, all star, all state, all national, everything. <laughs> And when you win against them, it feels so good. But like, yeah. if I feel like if they win against this team, it just it's not gonna have the same effect. Yeah, which is yeah, so weird because they're they're ranked same. two. Like, yeah, they're ranked two, and it just doesn't feel like that. Uh, the only way I can defend that is the fact that they're still in the early rounds of the tournament. While with uh, Shiro Torizawa, I think even nationals are like the I... finals. Like, yeah, but no, no, but two going into the tournament though, like they're, right, they're, right, no, they're, they're I, I get it, but it's like the the concept is, you know, it's the finals, it's the last like last match of the tournament, while this is just the beginning of the tournament. Oh yeah, yeah. I right, okay, I get it, I get. So it. like the tension is not really there. Like if yeah. if you win or lose here, it's like it, it's kind of whatever because it's still early. But like what the other one, like the qualifiers, like if you don't win this match, you are not going to nationals. Like your whole tournament line. Like it's, it's it's done. You made you, you went so far, but it wasn't enough. You know, like the yeah. tension is there. But when you when you play in a big tournament, no matter how good of a like opponent you're facing or how big of a tournament it is, like no one's really gonna take like the first early rounds that seriously, to be honest. So I, I can get why there's not that much tension there. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else really. I, I don't know if anybody else. I just wanna say like um I guess, like, uh, going on to where he says, like, he doesn't watch sports anime. Like, this actually kind of makes me want to watch Kuroko later, so. We'll really? See. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice yeah. that. Yeah. Because I always, I always wanted to, I, I seen a lot of the memes, and I always wanted to watch it, but, yeah, so maybe I'll watch it later. I don't know why, but I kept thinking, like, maybe I want to watch the rugby one. I don't know why. The rugby one? There's a rugby 20, one, yeah. 2023? 20, it's older one, yeah. I just remember Peter was telling me about it, and I thought, and I thought it just sounded terrible. About, you talking about Ice Shield? Because that's American football. 
no, no, no. There, no, there, there, there is a rugby, rugby one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's two of them. The newer one is more. Not a... Yeah, I have no idea where this one came out. So okay. maybe well, one day. Yeah. Where am I, I think I've seen that one. I, I forgot what it was called, but yeah. Never mind then. Um, so yeah, that's gonna I'm be good it. to go. That's yeah, that's gonna be it for um high um, and so, uh, before we go to Damachi, I'm just gonna move to Higurashi and a bunch of other shows for Taylor, so we can get that um what the so she'll need to be leaving early. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna um go to Higurashi first. Um, Taylor, you wanna explain the thing <laughs> that happened in today's episode that just threw everyone off? Okay, so. There might be more information coming up out about this. I watched the episode, like I finished it right before the podcast early, so I didn't have much time to Google. But basically, the second episode opens with a scene with Rika. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And um, that did not happen in the original anime until like season two. Um, and so it definitely threw people off. It's kind of, like people have been calling it like uh, Final Fantasy. Well, I don't want to spoil anybody who hasn't played Final Fantasy. But basically, um, they're saying that, that like they're 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 not people really aren't sure if it's going to be like a remake or if it's a sequel because some events that were referenced in that scene were like directly referenced to stuff that already happened in the original 2006 anime. So um, it's kind of TBD right now. The creator has been very cryptic about it. Um, the one comment that I could find that he said was that um, season two will set, or uh, sorry, episode two will set the tone for the season. So take that for what it's worth. But I did see a lot of questions online from people who are like, well, if I've never seen Higurashi bef- before, if I've never um, played the played the visual novel, then like, should we start out with this? And I mean, right now, I really don't know the answer to that. So I don't know. I'm gonna watch just... at your own risk. So I'm gonna uh, just keep watching like blind. Mm-hmm. Since we have like someone here who did watch the original, so I'm just gonna default to you for any references. And so, yeah, that's just my plan. I'm just gonna keep, keep watching blind, just just go with it. Like if if like if I don't get like the full like attention to detail, then so be it. I'll just I'll just leave it up to you. Yeah. Uh yeah. I mean, for, I don't think that you're gonna dislike it. Like, but I, it's, I'm kind of thinking I'm the type that, of person like, like still... I hate missing out on detail like that. Like if you're gonna like like do. Like I want to know like the backstory of like yeah and then t- and then this is gonna be it's not like this is the true route where that the, the the one thing that happened of like the the uh, the Michael girl talking to Rika so mm-hmm. oh right like New Game Plus in a sense well like in in like these visual novels it's like sometimes when they do routes they they somehow like transfer memories from the route over to the true route mm-hmm. so then like they know what you know which flag not to do what decision not to make so mm-hmm. this is like the anime form of it so and also it just reminds you how like a lot of the early 2000 animes like a lot of them were like visual novel adaptations and we don't really see that much often it's moved on more to light novels so true so That's it's like true. so it's very weird seeing that whole like visual novel setup like it's been a while since i've seen it so you know if it's the art style you know like why not just go with the flow um, so, wait, cool. Uh, I guess so. You you you're, you watched the first episode too, right? So I guess I want to hear your impressions since we didn't hear him last week. Oh, uh, so yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of enjoying it, uh, but kind of like you, I'm kind of disappointed that or kind of confused as to the plot of the story. Uh, it looks like they're just throwing out a lot at you, and with I watched episode one and two together, so I wasn't as confused, but. In episode two, with the with the new opening or with the opening that they had, and uh, what was kind of being uh, clarified there with the uh, purple haired chick, I think she's kind of like the main hero of the story because she has the ability to kind of go through time from the looks of it. Uh, I, I felt like it's 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 a little weird, but uh, it, it's it's enjoyable. I just I just really hope that uh, they they piece it together in a in a way that's satisfying and we're able to kind of look, like piece it together ourselves rather than just have them spoon feed us with your information. Um, are you liking the atmosphere of like, do you, do you buy like the whole like creepy tone and like what they're trying to go for that for? I feel like it's, it's, it's weird. I don't think it's natural, but I think that's a, that's the theme that they're going with. Right. Like, you know, there's mm-hmm. something wrong and they're always there to remind you like, Hey, you know, this isn't some happy lovey dovey slice of life anime. You know, this, there is like some suspense, some, some thriller moments. So, uh, it, it's a nice reminder that, you know, this is 
what this it, it is a horror mystery uh, anime so um it's it's not bad it it did catch me off guard but you, I will you know, say oh sorry go ahead cool no like as of right now like I'm I'm not sure how to feel about it but it it's it's entertaining like it's interesting for sure I think you should definitely keep up with it. The first time I ever watched this, um, I, there, there's so much stuff that seems to contradict each other. There's so much that's confusing. And it's really hard for me personally to like keep up with the show that I just feel so like I just don't have any solid footing at all. But I mean, I was satisfied with it by the end of when I originally watched it. Like everything made sense. And it was like how confusing it is, like really adds to the story in the long run. So um i think maybe just lean into that for now and just kind of accept it for what it like, is if it's anything like the original at all see the one the mm. thing that the thing that really confused me this episode was when um when um keiichi like when he had the when he had the memory of like him like 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 beating up like the girls from mm -hmm. like i didn't know if that was like in the original or if that's like part of this new route like where he like he's getting the memory so that's the thing that i that like that's worries me about this adaptation is like is like i'm not gonna know if it's so see from the original or he's getting the memories of the original that and something else does not happen so i mean i would say that that's part of the regardless of original versus remake that's part of the concept of the overall plot so okay it fits in i guess like the one thing go ahead <laughs> i was gonna say i guess no it fits i guess it fits in with this concept but just in general when that happens that's like that's why i'm yeah. worried about like this whole this whole bait thing bait and switch <laughs> I think I'm oh. actually gonna wa rewatch seasons one and two over this next week, so I have it. Also, it's like in my the original, memory. like like <laughs> what? It's like two seasons, like twenty six episodes, or is it three seasons or something? Like, is it super it was long? Two seasons, and it was fifty episodes total. Yeah, it was like super long. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, so maybe good. two weeks. Maybe I'll watch it over two weeks. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> um, I do think though that that like uh, sp specifically referring to some stuff in this episode that when they were playing that uh, zo zombie tag game. Uh -huh. I do think I remember that being really creepy in the first one. <laughs> I think they could have leaned into that a bit more in this, uh, this one. It was just... super creepy in the original. Oh, uh, this one, yeah, it's just it's just like just slice of life, normal. Like this, yeah. this is like more way more like slice of life than the first episode, where like the first mm -hmm. one definitely was way more creepy. This one, yeah, just I guess maybe it's supposed to say has that false like allure, thinking like it's still normal, right? Even though then. Dude, Rika needs to. Uh, Reina needs to die, man. She's creeping me out. Reina's my favorite character. Oh my I god, love I, I cannot. <laughs> I. But bro, she's waifu. Dude, no, no, she's gonna kill you in your sleep. <laughs> she has the scariest scene of like. And she has. Okay, a, I don't wanna, I don't she's carrying a, a machete in public. Like <laughs> that's so sketch. Yeah, like the MC's just gonna turn around and be like, "What the hell?" Oh, okay, I guess that's totally that's normal. totally normal if you have a machete. <laughs> We're out here where there's no one else, and you can easily. You know, hide my body. Oh, and that's that's also wrapped up KFC man in like a body bag while we're at it, because <laughs> that's not disturbing or anything. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it, it's so weird because they get, like the majority of the show is just like like a happy go lucky vibe, and then they just throw in these ran random like like tense moments uh, that I guess it's supposed to keep it on your toes. So see, for me, it's like see when, when shows. I was saying that last week, like when shows do like the tonal shifts, it's usually here to miss. Um, episode one i felt like it had really good it did that very well with the tonal shifts and i guess this episode like it was more leaning towards slice of life so it didn't really hit as much but i think just based on like these first episodes i i trust in the show and I, I guess like i'm trusting on like the legacy that like I, it'll it'll pay off so i still really enjoy it even though i this one i didn't feel was as strong as episode one i guess because of like the reveal as well in that's the, always your... kind of been a thing with Higurashi. There will be a cut. There will be like two to three episodes that are kind of so like some people like them and some people hate them. It really, I mean, from what I've seen, but like it'll be a couple episodes of just slice of life, and then it just descends into chaos, and then it goes back to normal, and then chaos. So you just have to put up with it for like another episode. <laughs> well, based on the titles of the episode, it looks like there's gonna be several arcs. So I'm assuming there's gonna be uh, like multiple routes that we're going to watch. Or that's, see. that's what I was thinking. Oh, I was guessing like. If we were gonna reset at all, I guess if, I guess if it's like fifty episodes in the original, like you gotta like when when like you get a bad end, it just resets. I'm assuming. So I feel like they are because they keep focusing on the the calendar, like on a date, every yeah. now and then. Well, um, in the ending, like uh, they keep focusing on June twenty second. So 
I guess that okay. might be like an ending spoiler what of when I hit that date. Yeah, because as of right now, it's what June thirteenth. No, it's and like the nineteenth. Like, is it? Yeah, okay. it's well, like I remember the they. 19. And I think they started June tenth, I, I believe. That's June, when... yeah, June tenth or something. June something, but yeah, June nineteen eighty three. To pay attention. Um, that's all I got. That's all I have. I can't say anything more without like yeah, that's fine. stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, for sure. That's fine. Yeah. So, so I think I mean even with all this confusion with like with the new Higurashi and whatever it, they did, I'm so excited to see where it's going. But I'm just gonna wait it out. Just like watch the reboot, just just as it is, and then and then I guess at the end we'll like we'll just hear Taylor's thoughts and like how this all like unfolded. So, so we'll wait until then. And then, um, so that's it for Higurashi. And then I'm just gonna quickly, we're just gonna quickly go over, I guess, to the, go over, um, like Moriarty and, um, Ikubukuro West Park. So I guess we'll start over at Moriarty first. Just your quick thoughts, Taylor. Um, I don't have really strong thoughts in any direction. I thought that for first episode, um, I mean, it was, it was interesting. Like I watched it, I didn't get bored. I thought the characters were fine. Um, it was definitely like the subject of like what was the murder cases that were being solved in the first episode were pretty gruesome but it also i feel didn't like it, it, the show itself like wasn't gory was it i don't remember it being gory but i'm pretty desensitized so correct me I if mean, i'm wrong like no not really gory just like because they, they didn't show like any dead bodies so yeah so it's like really dark subject matter but yeah. at least it, for people who don't like gore i mean it, at least it does evade that um, and I, I'm not really versed in Sherlock Holmes stuff, but I mean, Moriarty, I thought was the villain, right? In Sherlock stuff. It, in the intro, it says like, he's like the one, was it the one person that Sherlock couldn't like solve mm-hmm. or figure out? So. But he definitely doesn't seem like a villain here. He just seems like somebody he's who like, maybe is morally ambiguous sometimes, like but he's anti-hero. definitely not like a villain. Yeah. 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 Um, and that, I mean, that really pretty much sums it up for me. Uh, I mean, no, like the animation was good, the music was fine. I like the animation, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, and um, I guess like, I guess it it was a decent first episode. Like, I'm actually like looking forward to see what happens next because I I like his character, so I'm interested mm-hmm. to see like different cases. Hopefully, like, because I mean he just figured it out right away here, but like hopefully we see like, actual like mystery stuff happening. That's what yeah. I'm always looking forward to. So. So I enjoy it and yeah. I'll keep on watching it. And it's definitely, um, we'll see if it like becomes like, like one, like the underrated shows or whatever. So, yeah. So we'll that's, keep an eye on it. Yeah. So that's, that's for Moriarty of the Patriots, whatever. I forgot the full title. But, and then <laughs> um, I guess we can go next to Ikibukuro on Westgate Park. Um, <laughs> you want to give your thoughts on that, Taylor? Apparently, I'm the only one that liked this, but I, it's not that it was a super strong first episode. I was kind of thinking that, like, I was hoping that it would have sort of, like, do rah rah vibes um, and be a little bit, have, like, pretty heavy mystery and maybe some, and just be kind of dark. And that is not the impression that I got from it from the first episode. It, I, like, if I had it, like, the word I used was charming. I thought the characters <laughs> charming. were adorable. Charming. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know, man. I mean, they're all supposed to be like a gang, but they're like helping little kids and taking out down drug lords and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't really know, I guess, what the definition of I a I just want to say, is. like, like, okay, both like this and Dora Ra, they, they, they make it sound like Ikibukuro is just like this seedy neighborhood where gangs <laughs> hang out. Like, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a college town. It's like, it's on like the west side of Tokyo. It's like near a lot of universities. So, it's a lot of college students like that lives nearby. So, like, there's a lot of bars in their training areas, but... It's not like it's not like Shinjuku, where it's actual like yakuza and like like brothels there. Like it's it's like it's it's near like, a bunch of like col- where college students live. And it's also like it's it's like that's cheaper rent too. So like it it's it's cool something to be near like twenty like thirty minutes away from Tokyo, but like still be in like Tokyo. So it's weird that it's being portrayed as this like yeah seedy place. And then so I mean, it kind of wonders if like because we're Americans and we're used to being a different level of crime or seediness, yeah. maybe to them it's that I mean that to too, but like... just just in general, like you you would like like you if you want CD, you, you do like Yakuza and you just go after like like the red light district basically. That's like the only CD area. 
So that's just why I want to say about EK Brook Girl, just because like it's just it's it's a suburb of a bunch of like college students living nearby. So and then uh, the part oh. is it's like um just the whole like they t like like the whole weed thing again like Japan doesn't understand drugs, so they may everyone seem like junkies, you know, everyone's just like smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> like or okay i guess like they have like some weird like mix some weird like what's the word like, like synthetic with like Synthesi yeah synthetic <laughs> with like pot and something else but it's still like they cut that they talk about like junkies like they're heroin addicts when like it's just people getting high like so again japan doesn't understand drugs <laughs> yeah there was some so like all of that stuff was a little bit odd but i liked the characters like i thought that they were enjoyable I and, and i guess for me it's like <laughs> I was also, this is like, I guess I was not in the mood to watch a show because like, I, this is at the end point of my, of trying to catch up for this week's podcast. So it was at the very end, I'm trying to catch up everything. And then like, I don't know, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. Like I, I guess I'm not in the mood for like this, like this, just this setting of like, just, just random normal people taking down like CD on her, like organizations, whatever. Like, I don't know. I just, it didn't really I didn't really connect with like the main character and his friend, so. Oh. I think you have to be in the mood for a show like this, and I mean, really, at this yeah. day, at this juncture, it could it could go either way. Like, like I want like <laughs> for this type of show, I want either like, gang fights or like like ter like turf wars or like um, I don't know, just other cool aspects of like, like or I want to see like a, a stylized version of like Tokyo, mm -hmm. kind of like kind of like like World End of View style. But this is just like yeah. seems like super normal. With just like just some yeah, super normal like some some like, I don't know like on their table type of things. So I guess I will not well, yeah, move for the time of stuff. Like Dura Rob was really stylized, and then like but like from the opening too. Like I actually thought the opening, I really liked the opening. The song I liked, and I liked the animation for it too. Like it stuck out to me more than really the other ones from the, the season. Opening, so, um, and so I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more like what you were saying too, but. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll keep an eye yeah, on it. Are you so, still gonna watch it, David? Uh, if I have time, like I definitely, <laughs> I didn't have time this week, so I had to push everything to today. So hopefully after this week, I'll have more time and I can like actually watch things when they come out, like on before. But the, everything else comes on Friday, so it's hard to like. So I'll, I'll have to make sure that I watch everything at least on Thursday before the Friday shows comes out, and then I'll give it another sh another episode see how it goes nice yeah so that's all that's i guess all i have for um for yeah um before before west bar was there any other shows you want to talk about taylor before you, you have to get off not really i mean the only other show i'm watching is adachi to shimamoto Sh Sh shimamoto i can't remember exactly what her name is but um it's a yuri anime that's coming out this season and i've heard really good things from friends who have read the manga for it which is why i'm so interested the first episode i mean i thought it was beautiful i love the animation the music was eh, but it's not my type of music so i'm not surprised um but it, it was a little slow to start out with not really a whole lot happened but i've heard good things so i'll keep watching it that's all the only other one i'm watching all right so so i think that's it for um yeah, so that's, I guess that's it for Taylor's section. So thanks for being on here, and we'll see you um, see you next week. Yeah, see you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So um, we're gonna move on next to Damachi season three. I guess like our last like big one. You All talk about. right. So get everyone in here for Damachi season three. So. Oh uh, boy. Still waiting for Strand Durant about JC staff. I don't. Know. I guess. Um, you want I, to start I, I off, Strand? I, I mean, sure. Uh. This episode uh, was basically kind of showed like more of like where you actually find out that people are trying to hunt. We actually found out there's more monsters, but they're trying to be sold for high prices. Pretty sure, pretty sure I called that. it last week too that there's gonna be more you monsters. Did. Yeah. Well, I mean, dude, the opening shows it, man. Like, uh, <laughs> oh wait, like, like, or... Bell gets his own monster crew. The, okay, no, but, uh, I, okay, it... you thought it was gonna be like, um, like you thought it was gonna be there all along. I think it's like a more recent thing that, like, I think that God. That um, Ikelos, whatever, is like planting whatever to make them gain consciousness. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I can see that too. Um, yeah, where it's like, uh, it was like kind of like more of the the story where they the, basically the guy he's trying to hunt, he's trying to find these monsters where he can sell them for a high price. And like right when he sell, he says that he kills one of them in a cage. I'm like, okay, bro, there goes up some money. And then <laughs> chump change. But, yeah, I, I guess it doesn't matter to this guy. Uh, 
I also think it again. It's just it's really annoying that they keep like like uh, repeating like like especially Lily, where she keeps repeating the whole thing where it's like, oh, we can't trust her, blah 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 blah. And because like at, before that, I'm thinking like, damn, like how? Because I can easily picture this where they're gonna eventually capture her and then they have to go save her. But I kept thinking, I kept thinking like, damn, like how is this gonna happen? And then like right <laughs> when I said that, they have that whole argue, like whole conversation, and she hears it. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And then you didn't like that. Which I, no, I mean it was more of like it was kind of like a, to be it was kind of like expected. It's um, but it was also I guess we don't know the elf really. It was cool to see the the one Amazon lady come back too. I, I she's saw. uh she she is top tier. Um, because of your mobile game. Has, uh, yeah, you, well, actually no, she's terrible in the mobile game. Oh. But you know, just personal personal you know, plot. You I'm know, still the usual. still a fan of you, but yes, that's that why is, she gets her own so much, um, not so much spin off. <laughs> And she got her own little story in the mobile game too. No, because uh, she, she gets her own like because like in the like novels, um, both Ainz and Ryu gets their own spinoff novels. Gotcha. Um, uh, I guess Brian, what is your like early thoughts on the last two episodes? It's been the last two episodes, right? Did, yeah, two episodes. first two. The, the... Yeah. It's too many chicks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited all for the season? There's, there's Cause... never too many. Uh, did you even like? Just, did you like season two? Two? Are you excited at all about this season? Dude, I don't even remember what the fuck. I'm <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, it was the Amazon, right? Yeah. Oh, the Amazon one wasn't. Dude. And Haruhime. Yeah. The fox. Yeah, it was all about yeah. Amazon and Haruhime. Yeah. And dude, she's like the ultimate support man. When you can basically boost the person's level up, that's that's pretty insane. Dude, that's actually broken as shit. I'm Especially when your lie. levels are so low, and the highest person's level is what six or five. Like that's just insane. Like if you can actually, actually do the most full level, dude. Could you imagine? Like they could blow through that entire dungeon so fast. Group up with Ains and just King. run and just run through the entire dungeon and just clear it and win the game. I don't dude, even know even... what this. I forgot. Like this isn't a game, right? It's like their actual it's life world. Just going through it's, the dungeon. Right? It's a world yeah. of like RPG like elements in it, and I actually don't know what the end game is. Like what? What's the whole point of the gods like doing all this with like the dungeon, the tower, and the dungeon? Yeah. What is the I don't think game? we know yet. Okay. We don't know. They don't know how far the dungeon goes. Like, no, that's the whole point of like gathering XP, like for the yeah. gods. Yeah. But anyway, well, I'm pretty. Sure, I'm still pretty sure King is is like the highest level in the game, though, or not game in the world. I'm pretty sure he's level six. Yeah, he's the highest ranked. Yeah, so level, level him up. Six? Wait, level yeah. six is the highest. Yeah. yeah. Wait, who's King? King is the uh, Freya's bodyguard. Yeah. Who's like bodyguard? The... Freya. Freya. Oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> he's the guy that gave he's the guy that gave the Minotaur the sword in the first season. Oh boy. First season. Okay. Damn. That's so long. Ooh. Hold on. Continue uh, the conversation. After. Yeah. Okay. Just look him up, man. Just yeah. just say yeah. King Damachi. You'll find him. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I want to hear more of Brian's thoughts, but I'm um, going off that. Like yep. um, I don't know. So I guess like even though we're episode two, like I'm I'm still like. I'm not I'm not worried about the pace so much as I was season two. So unless I'm getting beta again, like how we had kind of like a strong start season two, so like it's I don't feel as it like I don't feel like like it's been rushed or like things been cut out yet so far. So keeping my hopes up. For uh, for me, I wouldn't even say season two was that good because like when I'm pretty sure me and Ku pointed out like they skipped like an entire arc with like that lady that was supposed to be like the. The uh, she's with the oh God, I don't remember the guy's she's name. Like the sniper, the, the, isn't she? Like, or the the ball. Uh, like, <coughs> bless you, bless you. Bless you. Oh man. <laughs> um, but the, no, it was uh the guy that was uh no, it's Soma. I believe I think his name is Soma. Like she, like she's with uh him. The uh, Soma guy, I forgot. He Soma's like oh God. Uh, the guy I know he plays Hachiman's voice. But the the girl that's like she's she's like I'm pretty sure she's she's a cat, kind really? of cat. Yeah, the, no, the not, cat. not um. So you're talking, you're, I'll try to you're find talking her. Talking about the cat sniper anyway. that we. No, no, no. Okay. yeah, I think so. Okay, you just said me, so, so now you're confusing me, Stratton. Yeah, I'll, I'll find a picture of her because okay. I actually don't remember her name because it's okay. been a while since I played the mobile game. Um, I don't know. Now I forgot. I was, no, gonna, so ask, I was gonna ask Brian something, but now I can't. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. What I what? forgot because Stratton's well, throwing me talking. off. He's throwing me off. I'll keep talking. Just cut me off when you can remember it. Um, okay. <laughs> no, it's uh, for this season though. I think it's it also helps that I haven't really played the mobile game because like the story itself so far, like I'm, I, I think it's been fine. Uh, I think it's actually been solid. I'm just assuming that eventually they'll, they'll tell us like how like why monsters are appearing, 
like why they actually have like in a sense like a conscience where they can actually speak. Um, uh, I, I'm just I'm just assuming that's going to come up. Uh, let's see, it's uh, I'm I'm actually kind of okay with you know like the whole thing where I also want to know like why like uh, humans hate the monsters, monsters are killing humans, and like why gods are just like meh, just see, that do part whatever. I like yeah, that's I like that part in this arc. I, I like how we're actually gonna explain that in the backstory. Yeah, so, I, I'm actually fine with it because like I didn't think about that at all. Like watching through this, unless it's like you know stuff they skipped over, but like. I like that detail and like how it's like it makes the, this I don't, I don't know what the word like it makes the, the plot feel like more it like gives more attention than just being like a, just a fancy like rpg elements so yeah I, also i kind of they, they threw in that part where they they basically kind of like tell bell like if you reach out for this basically if you go to save her like like people will find you and hunt you down in a sense <laughs> and uh where they actually kind of like that feeling like where it's just like uh, where if he just like depending like what he decided to do like he could actually he could save her but also like harm the the familia but then since like that random elf girl that we don't actually know who she is or where she's coming from yet uh, and you're like why uh, which I assume because well you know because like she went to because we didn't see her in the cellar right like the underground cellar no, the elf girl oh Ryu? yeah no 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 not real the, the one the the little elf girl that saved Veen. Lily. Oh, Lily? Yeah. She was there. She was there. She took her dis- but... disguise off when they were in the cellar. Oh, shit. I didn't even catch that. Okay, I thought it was like some I thought it was like some elf girl. Uh, the but elf now that you mentioned her, it. It's her disguise. That's gotcha. Lily's disguise. That makes sense, then. Well, never mind then. Yeah. Uh, I like, like how she again, decided that. To... Throwing me off. <laughs> dude, I like how she started it, and then she was the one to save her. Well, yeah, like, yeah. Bitch, that's, why'd that's you say anything? Her, She's like, like, oh, I fucked up. That's, I should probably yeah, take classic this. redemption and storytelling. Yeah, because you know, immediately it bells us like it would be just you know, just leave this, leave this familia. No, he's too nice. Go back to your, go talking? back to your drug familia, dude. He's, he's too nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, he would never say that like, unless <laughs> unless he went nuts somehow. Did you ever think what you were? Or remember what you were going to tell Brian? No, or ask Brian. I just want, okay. like, I just want to hear more, just because we need, I, I, because I don't remember what. Um, I didn't know what he thought about season two, so I just, I just want to see just gauge just Brian's excitement for season three. If you're looking forward uh, to it at all, or it's like you're, or like season uh, two just like left you disappointed, like the rest of us. Season two was like meh. I was like whatever. Season three, it's like I came in, forgot literally almost everything, all the characters because I didn't, I never, I didn't really keep up with it. I was like, oh, Bell, okay, cool. Dude, JC and staff then, went like he he went like uh or they went to. Uh, was it what do you call it? speed run through it? So yeah, and then it's it's like, this man is like fucking knight in shining armor again. It's like, dude, I want this man's come up story again, dude. Like first season, man, I want this guy to be against the wall, back to wall, against the ropes, fucking all odds against them. And just cut. I love those kinds of stories, man. I just want that again. <laughs> I want a giant minotaur to come out, swing in his face, and he almost dies and <laughs> fireballs his chest. I yeah, I, I like in general. I just want more of. I want more of like. Bell's backstory, like with like his grandpa, and, like being you know grandson of Zeus. So, like how they teased it in the first season, then that was about it. Then they just kind of went to everybody else. I mean, light novel storytelling, right there. Yeah, yeah. You gotta save the best for last, right? You know. But, but thing, but then like, uh, yeah, you sure. say that, but then like you never get there if you don't make the anime. So that's true. No, no, I I, I hate it. I don't, I like the other story, but yeah. I just, don't like, I just don't like how his power level is kind of inconsistent. Like, from the end of season one, you would imagine that he's, like, fairly strong. And then start of season two, he's kind of a pushover. And then now in season three, it looks like he's still kind of a pushover. Like I the think only he's time... on level three, I think, isn't he? As far as we know, yeah. Like, rank three or whatever. Yeah. But even then, he should still be a lot stronger than what they're showcasing here. Well, he hasn't... He's really, yeah. You know, actually, he, he kind of just like he did like a little like when he's basically trying to like push through people, like in the crowd. You know, this man could just throw everybody to the ground if he really wanted to. But I mean, I guess he could go up to level four. I mean, he does have Haruhime, so he does have an extra level there, as long as she's a part of the party. Yeah. But Even though like she seems to be just hanging out at the mansion. Yeah. I don't know. I guess this is wait and see for me. Like, I'm I am excited for more of the monster lore stuff. So just yeah. wait and see. Um, I guess like more. I, I, I there's a lot of characters, so I want to see like, more of the other familias. It's like I still feel like we don't like get much of the other like familias. It's just all 
even like even Bell's familiar, like because they just joined him last season, so it just feels like it's all Bell still. Like yeah, I don't know. I guess even though I even though I said I want to hear more Bell's backstory, if you're not gonna do his backstory with Zeus, then like just show me the other familiars then. So yeah. Oh, uh, Taylor, this one's for you. But like the new guy that they introduced, I forgot his name already. It looks like a dr- like he looks like a drugged up Yato from Noragami. <laughs> he kind of does like, actually. I- he does. Jeez, what? Wait, what's his name? I don't remember. It's like I K L, like I L O S, Ikelos, whatever. I assume he's like a Greek yeah, god yeah. or something. Ikelos, no, 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 not Achilles. You like both? <laughs> no, not, not Achilles. We do we? No, we don't know who Achilles. No, we've no, never seen Achilles. I found, Achilles uh, oh, okay. I found him. Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Man. Yeah, yeah, he looks like Yato encountering some hard times and like <laughs> he's <laughs> he's still a god in this. I'm a pass. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, he, the, like the, the guy just looks terrible. Like the guy just kind of walks in there. He, like he just I don't know, just and just walks out. What a uh, I, I, I'm guy. really liking Hermes though. I, I love Hermes. <laughs> if I was a god, I would be him. Really, <laughs> really, you'd be Hermes. I mean. You know, I feel like you'd be the the guy you just talked about. He'd, he'd be the the guy. elephant guy. <laughs> the drug guy thinks that. No, Wait, be... and that guy wears a sweatsuit, uh, a tracksuit yep. too, right? Yep. Oh, okay, yep. okay, okay, okay. Shred yep. would be the elephant guy. guy. <laughs> Ganesha, I'd be yes. okay with that too. I guess. Yeah. 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 dude, he's the hype man, and uh, that's that's in Damachi. He just wants fights. <laughs> or uh, his or his like gladiator battles. But anyway, I, mean, I actually I really don't have too many like uh bad things to say about this yet i think also it's definitely just, it's really uh, really the tell. i guess like yeah, yeah. i'm, I'm it's still setting it's story. still setting everything up yeah again like i want either either more fight scenes or more emotional scenes we've just been lacking that season two so i think i mean it's kind of early to tell you know yeah right yeah. uh, i don't know they uh, i don't know dude jc staff tries to do emotional scenes they always just seem to just terrible or half-assed honestly yeah. dude what they should have done you know when that like the rope tore and then fucking dragon girl saved that little girl. Mm-hmm. They should just let that little girl die. Dude. <laughs> Jesus. People, people are fucking assholes, man. Like this girl just saved another little girl and you're just in a trash on her like that. Like y'all can all die, man. <laughs> That's how I feel. Honestly. Damn. Like this is why you don't Jeez. save people, if, man. If, Cause they always give you shit. If in that. Brian was a show hero. If Brian was a shonen main character and he had to be in that position where he has to like save everyone, he'd just be like, nah, fuck y'all and just walk away. Nah, like, okay. So here's yep. the thing, right? If I save someone and I'm getting shit for saving someone because, Oh, a building broke. I'm not saving anyone again, and if I see you in trouble, I'm letting your ass die, and I'm gonna look at you in the eye and be like, "This is what you get." Be like Saitama, man. He will never be. <laughs> he will never be the character that sacrifices himself for the the, the greater good. <laughs> He's like, "Fuck y'all." <laughs> Pretty much. Listen, I'm more important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You know, like I, some Sasha bait right there. The world needs me. I respect man. that. The world needs me. That's like some Sasha bait right there. <laughs> No, I, I can respect that. You know, good for you, Brad. You you truly love yourself. Yeah, that's I okay. got you, dude. <laughs> All right, yeah. I, gotta, so, I don't think I got anything yeah, else. I think so. that's it yeah. for Damachi. Nothing really, I guess we can say. It, so we'll have to wait for yeah. next week. Enjoyable so far. <laughs> yeah, and then um, I guess like um, we'll just talk about um, Wanting Rich, um, Journey of Alina, and then just a bunch of other random shows after this. So just did to mention. Uh, Koo, did you watch this week's episode of Wandering Witch? Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it. Gonna I think watch I, it. yeah, like I saw like the first ten minutes. And I was like, uh, I, I'd rather watch the other animes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> this I'll say, um, this second episode is like kind of not as good as the first one. So, oh, good thing I didn't do it then. <laughs> so I just it just it felt weaker. Like the first uh, episode was more like um, not wholesome. Like it feel good. Like just watching her train. And this one is like I guess like. It's kind of more of a callback to the first episode because she's like older now and she like she has to like this other like witch was asking for help so and she was helping her and it was like getting flashbacks to episode one where she was like younger so but I don't know it's just like it was just one part because she she's just going on a journey so it's it's much more it's it's episodic so it's just like you just have to just watch it as you go but I still felt episode one was better so. Um, so I guess I won't say much about, yeah, Wandering Witch, like, I think, I think I also enjoy it, like, even though it's episodic, but, yeah, 
uh, nothing much to say. Um, and then, uh, oh, actually, do you want? We should talk about the standing on a million lives show. I forgot about that because Sean, you caught up to that, right? I did. Okay, so, how'd you know? You looking at my list, bro? Because you were talking about it before <laughs> we recorded. Oh, so, my bad. So you want to give your impressions? What do you think about this so far? Yeah, I'm actually interested. Um, <laughs> it, it definitely seems. I mean, it's different from like the other ACK shows we like we kind of watched. Where that's okay. I want to say uh, because like this show actually has actual character development. So. That too. Is nice. That's always we have nice such a little bar of isekais. This is where we're at. I know, right? Like we have such little standards for isekai that, like, we'll just take. Yeah. Any- we're just we're thirsty, man. We'll just we'll take anything. To give us. Dude, we're we're saying this now, I'll- and then we, we get Lock Horizon next season, and we're like, like you know, a million lives. What? What yeah. was that? I, I, yeah. I wouldn't say thirsty, but it's it, it is better <laughs> than most most isekais currently. Yeah. I like the main character as well. We got to see like a uh, you know like a kind of like character development and like with him in two episodes where we did not see like this kind of character development with uh with uh, Kazuya for like eight, ten maybe, but uh, mm-hmm. where he like kind of like he's like recognizing I mean, and realizing like you're comparing Isekai to rom com, but <laughs> I'm, I'm comparing just like the shit to your. I'm, I'm basically showing like character development that can actually happen within a few episodes and where it's actually done, uh you know decently, um. It's uh the kind of like the the concept of it uh, interesting where it's basically it's like it's still kind of weird though that when like you clear levels and really the only thing you get you get, you basically get to ask a question. Uh, I'm I'm assuming like the questions are just going to lead to, um, eventually, kind of like you know what everything is uh, what like how uh, like why they're there, what's I guess kind of what's what's the purpose even though like they're God or whoever the hell they talk about it, the most ridiculous character designs ever or like one of the most like ridiculous character designs the guy has a half a head and for some reason he has like he has hands on his titties and like a star on his uh coming walk. up man it's just doesn't make any sense and i'm just say, like what you, the fuck is say, this guy you say god but it's like he's from the future so he's like some sort okay, of okay like, i wasn't sure yeah. avatar thing but yeah and also and he, just, like, he doesn't repeat his he doesn't um finish his sense either so it's just always cut yeah. off yeah yeah that too that's dude, that's that's just sounds so weird but I also like to where they 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 they're fighting like this. I think this guy is supposed to be a troll, right? Yeah, yeah, troll. I think like a troll. giant troll. Mm-hmm. And like they're they're basically I like uh, their ways of basically destroying it. They're like they're trying to face this guy like overnight and basically just dying repeatedly. You like just trying to like figure you, out. You like how he, he went for the Peter tactic, just farming goblins in the forest. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey man, he became a chef because of it. So good which old, actually good like old, what, good old like, Peter method. Dude, when they showed like his ability first, like when they, I assume this guy's just gonna get like he's gonna always get like the tear trash like uh like jobs. I don't think this guy's ever I mean, gonna after, get something after this good. So that sounds like it's a gig, even though. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It works out. Yeah. Basically, the no, chef. What, the chef what, if saved him. Sleep, what if it's sleeper OP? You know, like you just gotta level up a little bit. You know. There's no way in hell. Dude, this guy's level ten, and he basically could like at least <laughs> could, he could even do shit. I don't think he should be able to cut the, the stomach, but whatever. I think. Yeah, I no, don't know, man. That chef's knife is pretty sharp. So. It only got like the, that one area where he couldn't do anything else to the the troll like skin or body. But yeah, those, those Japanese <laughs> knives are intense, man. They cost a lot. <laughs> they do. Well, if you buy that the shit, expensive, if you buy, sharp. if you buy the expensive top tier one, then yeah. Dude, there's no way he had to have a top tier. Like you're not gonna you're gonna give this guy a chef, and you're not gonna at least give him that's like okay, fine, you can have like a top tier knife. <laughs> it's like, come on, this guy's already a chef. Cut him some slack. Uh, but it, like the character, like basically with like uh, they, we've also got like a lot of like kind of like I also like the, the those points where they 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 like where he can see like a memory that which is kind of like uh, for some reason the lock points it, are it seems yeah actually, I, I think it, of uh, I think of like Bloodborne <laughs> oh it reminds me of the Black Breath of Wild like memories which is sound it's it's all random oh, right yeah like, okay yeah that makes it's one so more sense. random like a random like thing to have in your world yeah so. But I, I, I honestly, like, I'm fine with it. Like, I actually think it's really cool to see. I mean, uh, it's, I, I say it's like it's just random having it, but it's isekai. So what? What am I like yeah. complaining about? This is part of the course. I, I the one thing I do really wish though, I I wish like the animation was a, just a little bit better. But I mean, it's isekai, so it's also, just like whatever. Like, the original source is a manga, so that's why like I trust oh. it more because. It was a light novel. It would have been on that one website where like anyone can write anything, and for some reason, like these these fans of this website have horrible taste. So they always pick like the the worst like light novels that gets popular. And then because it's popular, it's like it's popular for some reason. But because it's popular, it gets like picked up into official light novel. And then because yeah. like it comes a light novel, somehow it gets more popular and becomes an anime. 
So it's like, yeah. I don't know. So hopefully, like, I do like, like I said the first, last week, I like how it's going back and forth between the real world and the isekai. So at least there's that, even though, that- like, like, so hopefully there's, like, there's tension between having to do back and forth. And it's not just the main character just doing whatever he wants because he doesn't have to worry about going back home. Well, there's some tension already where basically, you know, if the party's wiped, you, you're you GG. Yeah. Well, and even though, like, there's, like, it sounds like he's got to, like, find some stuff with the jobs. I still like how, like, there's tension. He's not just OP. And, like, his yeah. party's, yeah, his I'm, party's I'm, weak, too, so. Yeah, like how they have actual job classes, but they're weak. Yeah. <laughs> so. But, no, honestly, that this was a good good recommendation, man. Good job. He's like, kind I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. I know, dude. That, that could be a thing, too. Your, your standards are low. I know, but it's okay. Then Log Horizon's gonna come out and just blow all of our minds. It's like Jesus. How the hell did we ever watch the other stuff? But uh, cool. You said you watched this. Yep. And you're enjoying this. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's nothing like nothing special. Yeah, because yeah, nothing special. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I didn't, really... I didn't know if we wanted to talk about it again because all the other guys we brought up or talked about is just yeah. Kind of yeah, like, this is one of those shows that we don't have to talk about every week. Like, if just if something happens, yeah, or if just, uh, or if Pat or anybody says anything, just like just like well, this should have been like the quick five minutes thing. But I just, I just, yep. It's just because all three of us are watching, and then like I just wanted to. Yeah, get, I like, didn't, I didn't watch it last week. Get the, yeah, just yeah. get the intro of like just what the show is all about and stuff. So, like, yep. if like we can spend some time on it, but there's nothing too much. Yeah. Yeah, I really got nothing else, but I'm gonna continue this one. I'm 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 interested. I am invested. Yeah, so I'll probably just save this for like just five minute discussion every week, or something. So. Sounds good. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And so yeah, so that's Santa Million Lives. Yeah, and then um, if there was like any. I don't think there's any other shows I watched this week because um because I I didn't watch um Sick Drift. I probably gotta drop it. And then Tony Tony Kaku Kawaii. I already read the manga, so I don't have to talk about it. if. If like if Ku watches it and he wants to talk about it, I'll be there with him. But like if I um if I don't have time, I'm just gonna just not watch it. So Uh Tony Kaku, yeah, probably not. Okay. Yeah. So Um Okay, yeah. so sorry, like before before we like mentioned about One Piece, I did actually watch that Nana one. Um I forgot what it was uh I, I forgot know, what wait, the, what the title was. I don't know what you're talking about for One Piece, but um Oh, basically, we can kind of like uh, if Sasha and uh, Brian wanted to talk about it, just where Brian is, because I know he's like trying to rapidly catch up. Oh, rapidly, say, we can not rapidly. It. We but... save that for later. It's fine. Save it for later. Okay, yeah. fine. So, um, quick thoughts about Talon yeah, Nana, trend. I apologize, Sasha. I lied to you. Um, it's a. Uh, I don't know. Like the, I mean, I thought it was kind of like well, first, like it was. It just kind of seemed like a basic thing where, <laughs> like immediately, I thought this chick was evil. <laughs> so, you immediately so like, thought that, that? Like, immediately man when you basically have a chick that looks exactly like somebody from uh madoka magica you know like flag right there man you know this chick is evil and then Whatever. uh but the the ending though i didn't really expect even though i don't think i mean i, I just assume this guy's gonna come back uh or gonna basically or he's gonna have a kind of like revenge attitude in a sense where base or uh or something like that um the I don't do like every every angry person in a, in a, in shows that have abilities. They're always fire. They're never anything else. And then the, um, yeah. the 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 one thing that probably, if anything, bothers me the most is the animation to this, just because it reminds me of Assassination Classroom. And I don't even have anything against the anime because I've never watched it. But uh, but I've watched so many of those damn like um, quizzes and stuff like online where every single person has everything related to Assassination Classroom. And I couldn't get the like basically it would be like a test for like openings and I could never get it. And it would always be uh assassination classroom and I was just absolutely just done with it. Uh but I'm I'm gonna probably I'll probably try this. I'll probably give this one at least two more episodes before I decide to drop, but this might be a drop. That's my those are my thoughts. I'm gonna keep watching just because I read the manga, so I like I wanna see where like, where like I wanna see where I didn't like finish it, see how this goes, and then probably just Go back to reading the manga so i'm just more interested to see what ku thinks because like because i it's gotta be like late near where like i already seen like the manga i already read the manga oh when, my god you guys is the manga done or no it's still ongoing but like i read it a long time ago and then okay. I, I didn't i just didn't pick it up for a while and then the anime guy announced so i just have to wait to see like when the, it goes past the point where i read so I, that's why i'm just more interested in what ku thinks if he still got if he's 
Yeah, keep watching. I mean, I'm gonna give it. I think the next episode is gonna be like the the deal breaker because as of right now, everything is very generic, and then the plot twist is what got me at the end of episode one. So depending on how they uh, like lay out the the plot and I guess the the character development, I I, I guess we'll see what happens from there. Because as of right now, the only thing we know of is the MC just died. So like, what what's oh, what's gonna happen now? Right? Oh, did episode two not air this week? I- Nope. Saturday. Oh, okay. Saturday. Oh, okay. Yep. That's okay. Dude, there's there's no way this man is dead. I, just gonna push into water. Come on, man. he'll come back. He's I mean, the, 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 the episode for the preview is something about time travelers, so I'm sure there's something that's gonna happen. But like I said, it's so far everything seems fairly generic, and then you know, plot armor is gonna come into play. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll we'll see what happens. If it's if it sucks, I'm gonna stop the show. But if it if they do it well, like I'll, I'll keep watching. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to drop because we're watch, we're watching so much shows already. So like it's 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 getting crowded on our list. So yeah, like I said, I'll give this one a couple more episodes just to see how it goes, and then but this might be my first fatality of the season. Okay, and then I don't have like any, anything else besides Burn the Witch. So like, that's um, right. I guess if you want to um, talk about that real quick, then I'm watching Climbing Girls, but there's nothing else to say. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> we can move to Burn the Witch. Okay. Um. Actually, yeah, I actually I really enjoyed um, the three episodes because I guess it's, I guess it's weird how it's like the author, the, the I guess I just mentioned is the Bleach author, based this is what he did after Bleach ended, and like he's not doing a full like serialization. It's like I guess seasons, whatever. He did like a whole bunch of chapters, and then he took a break, and then now he's like, getting ready for season two. So, oh damn! Okay, that's crazy. I had no idea. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like, uh, these first three episodes, like honestly, I mean, obviously, like the the reason why I went to this is because of the Bleach author. I mean, yeah. Bleach. Oh, did like, you see, I love. Did Bleach. you see at the end the ending of season three or episode three, or whatever, of both like the, the damn Soul Society sign and also yeah. and also yeah. like um Burn the Witch when they did the the red and they spelled out Bleach as well. Dude. I'm like, I, okay, that, know, I guess we can talk. About, I don't know. That's like the one thing I, I just want to mention. Like, I don't want it to be like connected to Bleach. I wish it was his own. Separate thing. I don't want to be connected to Bleach. I'm fine with it being connected. Oh to Oh my Bleach. god, no! Just... Um, I mean, there. I don't think that, like just because like they show like a little bit of Soul Society. I doubt we're gonna hear like really that much. I don't I, think they're gonna go I much into Soul Society. Like, I don't. I want to be its own separate. I want its own separate magic thing. I don't want any like Shinigami Hollow stuff in here. Uh, I mean, okay, it hasn't happened yet, so we can't think that's gonna happen. But it's uh, and also like I don't know. So the way it's set up, it's like how you have regular london you have like like what was it reverse london it didn't seem like it was like harry potter it didn't seem like it was like it was like a like because you know bleach is like it's supposed to be like after like shinigami like like soul society like like afterlife it didn't seem like it was supposed to be afterlife it's supposed to be, supposed to be like I mean like an isekai or, or like another dimension of london yeah, it's like an alternate world that's running at the same time so yeah. i don't want the connection to bleach i don't want it to be like have the, like alternate dimension and have like the shinigami world too like it's just too much, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think, honestly, I don't think we're going to have much more. I think, I, I actually, I think the author will, we kind of like, like recognize and realize it just to keep this like a separate thing. Like, it's cool to see like that whole soul society like sign, but I, I swear that's just more of like, just kind of like a, just, just like a shout out to throw, Bridge. Throwback and like, yeah. Yeah. I, that's why, that's why I really think so. I, I don't think they're going to do much more about that. But it's uh, I've always loved like the the comedy with Bleach. I always just it always just yeah. made me laugh. I did. Okay, so like I, when they, I didn't, they did the uh, I didn't grow up stuff. watching Bleach. I just marathoned it a long time ago, Same. so I forgot a lot Same. of things about Bleach. But yeah, Bleach was like the I think the one show that it, it got me like you know kind of restarted in anime like my second time, and uh, I'd never like actually binged a show so much more like before in my life. I thought it was just so good, and then it just took a hard dip. Uh, never read the manga though. Um, but I'm excited for that. But anyway, like either just like the character models, you can definitely tell this is from the the Bleach author. Like the the girl with the black hair looks like a mixture of like Orihime and Byakuya. And then you have like really? the main girl. I def- I, okay, I, dude, I, definitely. It was only like the the other guy, the guy they were fighting. That's the only like one I saw the connection to Bleach. I didn't really see that in. I guess like the blonde girl. She's kind of like the other, kind of remembering the other blonde girl that was training Bleach when he was like. The Hollow, whatever. I've heard their names, but like, oh, yeah, kind of, yeah. But yeah like, I don't remember their names, the, either, but I don't know who you're talking but, about. But um, 
uh, Noelle, whatever. I didn't really see her as like a Bleach character. It was only like oh, damn, the, the the guy from like the council they were fighting, the super strong guy. We only had the mask on. He like he looked like a hollow. Just remember Grim Grim Jowl. That's like the only like yeah yeah. That's he did like, look because cool. especially with the mask, he looked like he he looked like a hollow or a Espada or whatever. But like yeah yeah, that's the only connection to Bleach really. I didn't really see any other character designs that look similar to any other Bleach characters. Right. But I mean, like the uh, I don't know, like the whole story, everything else. I thought it was like really kind of actually like, interesting. I thought yeah. it was a uh, that was I really wanted to actually know more, which is uh, which is weird because I thought a lot of like Harry Potter, but like the whole thing was the dragons. The one thing I I didn't really care much for was just like their like horn guns. I kind of wish they had something else besides those. I mean, but I like, their, I like, it, I like their attacks. Like it was really yeah. nicely animated. So I yeah, it reminds I did me... not like the blonde guy because he was annoying. Just like... fucking annoying as hell. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, no, but uh, oh, yeah, but the I abilities mean, though. Sorry, go ahead. I just want to quick mention that the dragon, the first time they show the dragon, just looked like that one dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. Dude, it did the one that first, before the cut the face off. Thought of. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it looked like toothless, like a gigantic toothless. Yeah. So. Uh, dude, that that one guy's dragon looked really cool though. Like that, like that blue, like lightning dragon. Yeah. I thought looked really cool. Uh, even like their whole like uh like the whole spinoff with like was it like seven fairy tales? Um, oh, I thought yeah. that was actually really cool with the dragon. Yeah. Uh, cause dude, that dragon was a beast. Even though like Cinderella. it seems yeah like uh Cinderella. Um, I, I would have actually liked to know, like, kind of like know more about that. I first thought like maybe they were gonna like attempt to. Th- this is what happens when like, you watch like How to Tame a Dragon because you immediately think like they're gonna try to tame these guys and they're just legit trying to kill them. Oh. So that um uh, that uh, that was kind of like a first a shocker. But it's I don't know like if if they come out with like a second season like they actually make this like a like a le- like a legitimate anime. I mean, I'd yeah, he's, still he's, gonna doing, watch he's it. doing a second. That's like what I don't. It's weird. He's doing a second batch. Yeah, a second season. It's not like it's not like. It's not weekly or even monthly. I guess, I guess he doesn't, he doesn't want the schedule of like Bleach, and I'm surprised gotcha. like Show and Jump like just lets him do that. It's just... So there, actually, it's he's still good off more... It's confirmed that there's gonna be more of this. Yes, yes. That's we... actually awesome because that was my biggest issue with it was it set up like a great world. Well, it was originally just a one. It was just like a one a shot. One shot, yeah. and then yeah. I think he did season one, and now he's writing season two. Yeah, and I, I like, he's, so he's he, a good author. So the manga he's is a... confirmed for sure, and I think they confirmed the anime as well. But I assume so. So yeah, like I mean, okay. I honestly, yeah, like it's basically he's a really good author. It's just man, you know, Shonen Jump took everything from him. <laughs> so I mean, people were complaining about like Bleach for so long, especially the ending. So oh yeah, it went really downhill, and I'm glad I didn't. Even though we get to we get to we're, we're, watch we're, it, we're talk about it when it comes out. Yes, even, so we get the hate, hate even though, like, everything we're from we're so, Even though we're probably so lost. Yeah. But, so um, I, I'm actually really hoping... Anyway, that, that's a whole different separate thing we can talk about later. But Yeah. I, so, Honestly, it's no, so, I, so, I guess, like, yeah. So, I'm excited. You give... I didn't score. Dude, I don't... You fool. I, I think I, I gave it an eight. I'll probably give it, give it, like, eight or nine. So Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was good. Brian, yeah. you should really check it out, actually. Uh, Burn, Burn the Witch. I think you'd actually like it. I don't like burning witches though. It has cool. nothing to do with that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I know. Wait, it's, it's basically about dragons. That's yeah. It was a three-part it's movie. Three, three, there, it's, well, it's a three-part episode. Yeah. It's, yeah. Twenty minutes each. So like an hour. So. Oh, fuck. Yep. But it was good because because uh, he's more successful than you know the Naruto writer who had his <laughs> had his um samurai space, space in, ninjas space or whatever and, and cancel after a year. <laughs> So. Uh, R.I.P. Never even looked at it. Same. But I got nothing else because I was just gonna wait for the anime. Yeah. So that yeah, that's it for I'm the witch yeah. and a little bit longer than five minutes, but yeah. But that's like the only time where I talk about it. So yeah. So I think we're ending here because I don't. We've been going on for so long. It's probably a pretty long pod. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't so even know how long. It's like it's like around two hours. Or so so good enough. We're gonna hit the limit. So yeah. Next week, um, we won't talk about as many shows. I I well, think we're gonna. The only other, we'll the, the only one I have that I haven't seen this week is um is um was it the day I became God? That's like the only one for sure I'm watching just because it's um it's by Key, so it's by the creators of like Clanet and Angel Beats. So definitely watching that. That comes That's out that comes out this weekend, and then um so deciding what which shows like to to drop and stuff, just make room because so many shows this week, so or this we'll, season. We'll talk in- a lot of, yeah, we'll but, talk and figure some stuff out. But too. it's like it's a lot of shows like we don't, I don't, we don't have to talk about. Just like maybe I'll just like just skip and just binge it all later. 
So just getting a feel for everything. So yeah. So uh, that's gonna be it for this week. Wow. Well, well, thank the audience for joining us this week. Thanks, guys. Chats yeah, popping well, off. Okay. I know all you guys excited about your your Naruto and Goku talk. <laughs> and, and, I just can't. And Johan, Johan, you get out of here, Sasuke man. Um, yeah, no, not, thanks for the sub not, too. We're not thanks doing for the this gifts as well. Yeah, thanks for your subs. Thanks for Twitch Prime. Yeah. Thanks for the two subs, Johan. You know, you should yeah. save your money. Yeah. Thank, yeah, save it for Japan. Yeah. Whenever we're allowed back there. Yeah. Save your money. Just because your sub doesn't mean you can talk about Sasuke in chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I just can't even. But I want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Brian, for coming on. It was fun having yeah, you back. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for yeah. joining us on Fridays again. Or like whatever Fridays you're able to, at least. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Plus fun. Yeah. So. I think, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be. Yeah, it for are, you gonna, are you, you going to keep the stream on for a bit longer after I, I like, we end it? Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's, good. Gonna, that's gonna be it for us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.